7 to 9 West Coast, 10 to 12 on the East, girl, you better tune into it. And boy, I try to tell you this the new big movement. Sit down and catch a vibe, cause he folk foolish, foolish. That's what you can bank on, to the bank on. Cut the more mob and the rewatch, gang strong. You are not tuned in the human with the zombies. I'm at zooming with the homies, oh man. Hey, Tom. <laughs> Yo, what's the business, good people? Welcome to another episode of Zoom with the homies. I'm your host to hear more. Uh, we got a good show for you guys tonight, man. I'm super excited about it. Uh, finna have a lot of fun, man. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited that you guys are here for another episode. Uh, make sure you check out a new episode of More to the Story Drop today. Uh, we got a new episode of Wording is Hard drops tomorrow with Ronnie, and then we have uh, mm-hmm. a, a new episode of Damn and that you scared me. Dropping on Thursday. But we are about to get started on this show. Um, and we're gonna um get it going just like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the people that are already here. I already got a couple phone calls that people are gonna be late. And uh yeah, when they come in, we're gonna welcome them with, with open arms, if you will. Uh, but first off, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's my homegirl right here. You know what I'm saying? She's a comedian, ball player, hooper, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Just had a birthday on February 14th. You know what I'm saying? She, she got, yes, she got my birthday. Some- she, she got stiffed out of that. She been getting two two gifts on the same day for, for a couple of years now, ladies and gentlemen. I want y'all welcome back to the show. Comedian, writer, actor, philanthropist. God damn it. Y'all put your hands together for Allie Lafridge. Bam, 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 bam. What's up, lady? What up? What up? What up? Hi, everybody. I'm glad to be back. Um, I usually don't return on um, certain things that include light-skinned people, but you are oh. indeed my freckled light-skinned oh. brother, so I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, bro. Thanks for having me. Uh, absolutely. So you just celebrated the birthday on Valentine's Day. How was that? Were, were you, you get anything worth talking about? Yeah. I mean, it was great. Uh, you know, my little boo thing got me some flowers. Uh, okay. You know, um, he looked at my feet. He didn't touch them. But um, we have to, that's something we got to work on. You know what I'm saying? We just started dating. Uh, you, wanted a lot of toes? you wanted them to suck the toes? Is that what you're expecting? Yeah, I want. I thought that you know, like you know, it's my birthday, so you know, you would get in between the pinky and the other. T- I just thought I was gonna get a little something, something like you just spit on it. Got it. Okay. Even that, yeah. like you could spit on it and massage it with your fingers. I'll settle for that. Okay. Well, I mean, you know what I'm saying. Uh, praise God. You know what I'm saying. Whatever you got going on. As you feel like you need to do, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm glad it's working out for you. Um, yeah, I got some shit for y'all tonight. I want, I want to talk to y'all about how I ended up with uh, life insurance when I was looking for a goddamn apartment. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we gon' we gonna, we gonna, we gonna talk about that too. We gonna we, we definitely gonna talk about that too. Uh, <laughs> uh, we gonna keep it moving, man. We got a couple more people pulling up. They're not here yet, man. So until they get here, we gonna we gonna kick back, relax. You know what I'm saying? Do a little max and then relaxing, if you will. Um, man. you were on here the um, one time before Allie, but your your service was kind of in and out, so people didn't really get a chance to check out who you are and whatnot. So uh, this is gonna be a a good opportunity for you to kind of make your impact again if you will um long island but, right the service was real good when i showed that goddamn pinky toe y'all nasty i mean niggas like what they like Allie. you can't get mad at, at, at the squad for doing what they do you know what i'm saying this is this is how they get down let me text ronnie because i don't know i don't know I what the hell Ron- girl put that raggedy oh, toe head. put that raggedy <laughs> toe down <laughs> I don't know why they oh to be on time with the show. They know I it's start funny. every day at the same time. They just be like, "Yeah, nigga, I pull up." Especially niggas from Atlanta. It's, it's black people. It's just black people as a whole. No, nah, I've had some white people be late to the show too. People just, you know, they don't respect the time parameters. Then they be like, hey, "You go two hours, like nigga, it goes by fast if you pull up on time." So it do go by fast. It does. It like, does. Especially but when there's 
We we looking at uh at changing it. I'm I'm talking to a team right now. We might swap it out and change it to like just one hour long, and uh, you know, people come on time. They get a little get a little shum shum. If they don't, then you know they get as much time as they can get while they're here. But definitely looking at switching it to one hour, man. Because I I'm tired. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I almost I almost canceled the show today. I had a couple people had to pull out last minute. It was a long day. I didn't get to sleep. I don't know why. I took some CBD last night. And I could not get to sleep until like four in the morning. I got up at six and started getting ready for the day. I've been out all day, had to go to the dentist. I just got home 10 minutes ago. I had enough time to make some coffee and set the camera up. And I'm tired, y'all. I'm goddamn tired. I am God. I'm just glad you went to the dentist because last night you they was one, they were ascertaining about that tooth. <laughs> you just you just brought that back up like that? You brought that, you brought you. <laughs> That was ascertaining about that doodle tooth. Oh, why y'all asking? Everybody know that every nigga got like one missing tooth. It's a doodle tooth. Like they fucked up y'all. That's part of being an old black man. You got one tooth in your mouth that you don't really trust. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? You know, nobody you trusts still work. it. You still work. You just you just don't you just don't trust them. You just don't trust. No, nah, I understand because you you smell it on the wrong day. It's not gonna smell right. I understand. Motherfuckers be talking about use that brown list on oh, the wrong day. <laughs> the wrong day. The I done smelled ladies. I know you don't smell a nigga's back tooth on the wrong day. You smell that shit on a Tuesday. It's different than on a Wednesday. Listen, listen, that tooth in the back of the ear. Niggas don't be cleaning the back of them ears right here. I have to do mine more often than normal because I wear a lot of glasses. So that that's that sweat be getting behind these these right here. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I smelled a pair of glasses. I just threw them bitches away. I said, ain't no coming back from that. Ain't, ain't no coming back. <laughs> ain't no coming back from that. I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of this. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Ty Davis is going to be here in a minute. She texted me. She had to finish up her paper, so she's going to be pulling up. Uh, Sydney had an emergency. He had to, um, uh, he couldn't uh, pull up tonight. Uh, Ronnie just said, my bad. Uh, <laughs> That's the nigga shit. That nigga, that nigga just say, hey, I'm on my way. That nigga just said, my bad, fam. That's what you know, nigga. He said, like, oh, my bad. That's what happens with big girl. Like, you call a big girl at 8 o'clock and tell her we going out at 11. She's not coming. She might make give you some false hope. But you got to give a big girl at least 24 hours in advance. So I mean, nigga, he knew last night. You know what I'm saying? He knew last night. I don't want to hear this shit. I don't want to hear this shit. You ready? Anyway, I'm, let me ask you I'm a question a while we're waiting for everybody else. To, let me ask you a question while we're waiting for everybody else to pull up. What are you most looking forward to doing when the world opens back up? Oh, getting on stage. Oh man, that's it. Like mm. I fucking miss that. I miss that so much. Mm. And just like being able to like now I finally live in Brooklyn. I was living in the Bronx where it is like rats at fucking one o'clock in the afternoon. Is uh, that rat? Saying, Rats. Yeah. New York rats are different. I don't know if they like they go to gang training or you know what I'm saying? Like, but they don't they don't move when you jump at them. Like normally when you jump at a, a rodent or a cat or dog like that, they be like, oh, all right, nigga, you got it, you got it. But New York rats be like, What's up, my nigga? You good? <laughs> well, I you jumping in something, the I thought you might have dropped something. Well, people don't understand about the Bronx is there's a lot of wildlife and there's a lot of nature. So there is, you know, the the rats uh, mm -hmm. congregate with the raccoons and they uh -huh. fight each other. So it's like they're they're building up that strength together. <laughs> Who that? Hey, purple hat. That's pink. What's up, pink player? What's up? That's that's actually antique rose. If you you know what I mean. Oh, that's from that's the, shut the fuck up! Right, you can't come. <laughs> You ain't coming on late and then gonna correct me on the color, nigga. That's pink. that's the color that they said on the box. Antique rose is the colorway. Ladies and gentlemen, just pulling up to the to the uh, show. Uh, you can catch this new episode of Wording is Hard tomorrow. One of the funniest motherfuckers I know. Uh, Ronnie, I didn't get to text you back, but I'm all for the collab. We we, um, we didn't get the chance to talk about it, but we're with. Thinking about linking up and uh, collabing on a hoodie line, 
and uh just, you know maybe get three or four pieces out there we just see what happens uh, you know and one of the funniest motherfuckers doing from atlanta y'all put your hands together for actor writer comedian father husband mr ronnie jordan bam, 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 bam. thank y'all i just want to say what's up to the more mob how y'all doing more mob i love y'all appreciate it <laughs> why you got that granddaddy uh <laughs> Bluetooth on, nigga. What's going this on? This ain't a Bluetooth. That? This is how them old men be at the at the truck stop. Let, let them girls know they get money driving them trucks. They, this they call. Me. <laughs> they don't even got no truck out there. They just got this on. Just, I just walk in the gas station with a my prerogative mic on. That's my. Oh my god, <laughs> nigga! I saw that shit on the side of your face. I said, "What the fuck is this boy doing right here?" Because I want to have. If I unplug it, man, I, you know I get loud in here. Y'all to be loud. Everybody cussing. You know what I mean. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. Well, I'm glad that you're here, man. Uh, Thank you, bro. Show was tonight. Say it again. Did you forget the show was tonight? No, I was just getting in. I mean, I had a whole incident at the post office. I, I cussed out some old ladies, and all. It, it got it got ugly at the post. Just trying to mail out some cookies from my wife. It got okay. It went totally right. left. Whole thing. <laughs> I had to call the police on these old ladies. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Well, listen. I like this. Uh, I like this. This this comment right here. So I'm gonna just leave that right there on the screen uh, as I introduce the next person, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, y'all <laughs> here? It's, it's the middle of the month. The time to get these bills paid. Y'all see what the fuck going on? Let me tell you something. I didn't know Ty for a couple of years. I ain't never seen this much cleavage. All right, so I know something goddamn up. Now don't try to fix it now. Don't try to fix the shit now. You came on the motherfucker like that. All right. Let 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 them see the wedge now. Let let them see the look right there. Nothing talking about, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to put your hands together for one of the first ladies of uh, of of uh, Zoom with the homies. You understand me? She has been here from damn near the inception. Uh, she is a hilarious person, just as a person, not even as a comedian, just as a person. She's hilarious. I texted her yesterday. I said, "Hey, Ty." She said, "What's up?" I just got through arguing with some niggas in the comments. What's popping, fam? I said, "Well, don't do that because they don't deserve it. Don't don't give them that much energy." Uh, anyway, are you free to come on the show tomorrow? She said, "I love to." So she's back, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing comedian, writer, actor, host, uh, clubhouse room owner. Y'all put your hands together and welcome back. To the show, Miss Ty Davis. Bam, 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 bam. What's up, lady? Hey, y'all. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ty, you looking like a snack. What's up? Listen, I um I didn't get a chance to like touch myself up and, and fix some things and so you just I, naturally I, golden? No, yeah. I, Black I women. Just, I, I put a little something on earlier today. Like I, mm -hmm. I had played in makeup a little bit earlier today because I was I woke up not feeling great. Uh -huh. And um, so I posted a video about that. And I had to do um I had to turn in a paper um because I'm an English major, so I had to turn in my paper. And I'm one of those nerds that I don't have a problem with the word count when they're like, oh, you got to have this many words. I always have the problem with going over word mm. count. So I was editing and cut back in. I turned the paper in, but I'm 30 words over. Hopefully she don't hold it against me, but I did the best I could. I cut like 300 words, ma'am. So, uh, Ty, I just want to point out this comment right here. Uh, a couple of people say that you, uh, that you dress like that because your mama ain't home. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> You know what? Everybody want to be a comedian. Everybody got jokes. Hey y'all, hey. I'm gonna let them have it. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let them have it. Yo. Oh my god. That's god, so funny, man. You look ravishing my right dear. Thank you. Hey, Allie. Hey, uh, Ronnie. It's always good to see and be with wonderful people. Of course, hate to hear. Love you. I appreciate you. And I'm just trying to cool down. And Right. Ciao. Listen, I was just telling them the day I had today, didn't get no sleep yesterday. I'm so looking forward to just sleeping in tomorrow, man. I can't even explain it to y'all, man. Like, it's just been a hell of a day. Uh, but we here, man. We here. Had a couple people had to uh, unexpectedly pop out real quick. So we do got another person coming. They're going to be here in about 10 minutes. You guys going to love them, especially guests pulling up, man. Uh, you can guess in the comments who that's going to be. Uh, but anyway. Yes. Uh, 
What the hell was that? Somebody oh, said um, I look like a Def Jam Vendetta boss <laughs> fighter. <laughs> I thought I looked like Neo's assistant, actually, but other than that, uh, I remember. Does anybody need to call when Neo studio? first came out, bro? I remember when Neo first came out. That's how I thought he was so sexy. Yeah, I, I thought Neo was so sexy, and then he took his hat off, and I was like, God oh. damn. Head, head bigger than all life. I was like, that, yo, that, that's that, that, that milk dud head turned into a Reese's peanut butter cup real fast when that nigga took their hat off. You understand me? That that's, that's when you find out he had that's when you find out that hat was prescription. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you had to get that made at the hospital to get that big motherfucker. Nigga. <laughs> nigga got a prescription hat. Not a prescription <laughs> hat. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be a long night. I'm not doing this with you, Ronnie Jordan. I'm not. Yo, yo, oh, this is a different time. Let me tell y'all something, man. Let me tell y'all something. Ty, we got to do your, we got to do your, your uh, word this hard over because we got to get you in the studio. It's a different experience. You got to be in the studio. Let me tell you something. This nigga I wanted Ronnie, to with COVID. I know, COVID hating. When I tell y'all this nigga Ronnie's episode tomorrow, so motherfucking funny. I called him yesterday. I told him, I said, hey, nigga. A lot of people saying this is their favorite episode. More people than 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 normally. You understand me? No, okay. Yeah. This nigga, right. Ronnie. Appreciate this nigga it, Ronnie is funny, bro. This nigga had <laughs> Maya breaking character. This nigga had people in the background. He had the cameraman breaking character. Tony and Camber. Hey, hilarious. It's I a good ass episode. I, I ain't listen. I, I, I ain't even saying I'm great in it. This nigga Ronnie stole the show. <laughs> Disney. I can't when I when I get on that plane, baby. When I when I put these hips on that Southwest flight, baby, I do not come to play. When I put these hips on that airplane, on that aircraft, because I like to drive. So if, if these hips going across the country, is no time to play. Because you know you got got that little side arm thing up, and you Yo. know all the middle seats is open. So can we can we do those hips? Can you do the silhouette challenge for us real quick, please? If I do the silhouette challenge, it's gonna look just like a blank square because I'm gonna fill up the whole doorway. They're gonna be like, nigga, it's just red poking through the corners. This is gonna be red in the corners of the door. And it's just gonna be like, nigga, is that a refrigerator in the door of the doorway? It's gonna all you're gonna see is this much red, just light. And this is my body. But this is what I want to say though, Ronnie, because even though even though you're you're you know a bigger stature gentleman, uh you have always been been fly. It's not like you know what I'm saying oh, you just out here looking ridiculous with the shit. You well, appreciate it, man. I, you know I what? My it. grandma always said just because you big don't mean you gotta be nasty. For sure, but I, I I take I make it my mission to help when I see a big dude with his ass crack show, I say, come in, nigga, come in. Call <laughs> tease, fam. Is that Call if that's tease. the case, why y'all let why why you let them put that video out with that drummer and he had all that top ass? That Which drummer one? that was coming, he had all that top ass. That that ass was. They, thought, was they thought it was me, but see, I did some research and I found out he was thirst trapping. He 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 was doing something we wasn't privy to. He was like, he kept looking back like that. Who he thirst? Rubber Roddy. Who you he thirst trapping? You know who he <laughs> thirst trapping? He was thirst trapping somebody who liked that genre. Somebody <laughs> click on his genre <laughs> on on Pornhub. Somebody like juicy That's ass true. men, feel like choir directors. That this nigga dude was my crazy. size with his ass cracked, killing the drum, but he looking back at the camera like this. Stop. <laughs> he was thirst trapping <laughs> to Haynes. Nigga, Haynes was like, ooh, we would love this to nigga play. <laughs> this nigga play every praise fast as a bitch. <laughs> Why you talking about Stop. That nigga, he, he looked back and shot a bird at the camera. He's like, uh, uh. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I, I prefer juicy nigga. I prefer. I like. I like to watch my man eat. I don't call. Don't it. call him juicy to his face, though. It's like a lot of etiquette. Y'all don't be knowing what to say to us. Okay. Y'all be like, I love your fat ass. That's how I get approached in the mall. Your big fat ass is hilarious. I know you finna die in a week, but let me tell you something, baby. Before you die, yeah, they give you all your little money. Like that's how I get approached. I be like, y'all don't know how to talk to me. Funny as fuck, nigga. Like, hey, like every night. <laughs> y'all saw your fat ass go on stage. I ain't know what to expect. I've been like, this nigga been be talking about all food, but your fat ass came. You like nigga, you, yeah, you, you say you my had, name. Like, jokes. Yeah. You was like talking about something. I'm like, I was, thank you. I had practice. I like 
like him husky. I like him husky. I like to watch my man eat. I like to cook for him and then watch him eat the food that I cook for him, and then it makes my nipples hard. See, that, hold on, that let makes, me hold on. Let me see if my wife sleep. Hold on, one second. Let me see. You? <laughs> you trying to poison me? You gonna talk about you gonna look. watch me eat it? No. Let me put my hat down. Let me put my goddamn Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. <laughs> Jimmy Jam. You said what? So what you said? You like? I, I like to watch my man eat the food, and if a little bit, that that will send me. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Send me. It will fucking send me. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's just. You got to be ready for when your opportunity come to here. You got, <laughs> I'm finna see. I got my cute look at you. I ain't even looking. <laughs> to his like, I ain't in it. <laughs> I'm drinking my coffee, baby. That's it. I'm just drinking my coffee. That's it. Ah, hilarious. And if you want to down, that's sexy. That's sexy. I'll lick it off for you, baby. Okay. All right. Oh, hilarious. Now what you got, on, you got on a tank top? You got on a, uh, like a, like a, like a rump? Oh, no. I got on a dress. It's a. A little sundress, but it's in the house, you know. So it's a house dress. Oh, have Ty you, out here setting a you, fucking virtual city down. She done got a sundress on. Ty done been to three funerals and, and wore jeans, and now she got on a look. Oh, it's just a little. It's just a little dress, you, a little something. Like, I just thought, oh, hey like, y'all, hey, hey y'all, hey. You know, I just put on a little something just for. I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Ty, when you gonna stop jiving and tell these folks you in Debbie Allen's academy on Zoom? That's all you got. <laughs> Just tell them you was in the room. Using <laughs> 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 that this, bitch out there with this motherfucker. This is what happened. I, I, look, I, I, I woke up this morning. Like, I just woke up and was just like, not feeling it, you know what I mean? Right, y'all know. Just wake up and just I'm like, oh man. And then I was like, I gotta do all this stuff and I gotta make these videos. And uh, and then I was like, you know what? Two birds, one stone. Let me make a video about how bad I feel in the process for me trying to make myself feel better. So I went and did that, put that up. And then I was like, you know what? I want if you look good, you feel mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. so I was like, you know what? Put some makeup on, right? Put a little something on, you know, make yourself feel cute. But then when I got to my hair, I was like, mm, this ain't my ministry today, and I don't feel like it. And I went to my wig closet, and I was like, mm, no, nah, I'm gonna just go ahead and hear somebody do this thing today. And this is what we came out with. All right, I like hey, it. So you have hey, a wig closet? Complaining. There's a wig closet. Oh yeah, I got wigs and ponytails in the closet. That's hilarious. I, now, now all I hear is come on to the room. You know that God so he said, ma'am, do you have a closet? <laughs> do you have a wet closet, ma'am? Because you gotta you <laughs> yeah. gotta keep all your hair pieces where they go. And actually, because I got to thinking about something that Allie said. Women ain't the only one with, with hair pieces. Men be having hair pieces too, and they, they need do. a specific compartment. For their hair pieces, and I it's think it's shape. fine. Like if you don't want to have the George Jefferson, and you want to have a little something you put on there, I think that's perfectly fine. Cause I be tricking people every day. I'm gonna look like a whole different lady tomorrow. Watch. I just, I had just to show you my people. edges. I just want to trick people with some abs. Don't fuck around. And let me figure out how to get abs without spending like ten thousand dollars on plastic surgery, and without like figuring out how to work out for it. Like if I find a, a quick and easy way to get some abs, oh man, listen. She, I ain't never gonna have no shirt on. That much I can tell you right now. I'm gonna hey. do the whole the whole Zoom show like, hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Zooming with the homies. You know what? You know what I'm saying? Um, I appreciate y'all pulling up. You know what I'm saying? We just out here living our best life, living our best. <laughs> Why you rubbing them? Said, somebody said vegetables helps get that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, these comments is crazy. <laughs> yeah, no. Vegetables. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You can't go in the comments if you're already having a bad day, okay? Because their whole goal is to destroy Listen, your self-confidence. You know your spirit. Listen, it's a couple people come through with the positivity, but most of these niggas wake up with violence on their heart. They go hey, to sleep you, with their fist balled you, up, you, wake up and punch some, some clouds and shit and say, I'm going to fuck somebody's day up. I don't go in the comments. Yeah. I just go like, if you want to feel better about your day, go and be Simone's comments. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have never seen people be so angry to a black lady in my life. I'm like, yo, why is why is it why are these paragraphs on here for this girl and Trump just got acquitted? Like, what is happening? Now, I, have, I don't. I have a question about that because I've been detached 
Um, so I don't really know what's going on because somebody texted me and was like, there was a room on Clubhouse last night going on. A whole about room it. about this young lady. And so what happened? What did she do? All she did was say, like, like ladies, we got to hold ourselves accountable. We got these lists of these men that we want, but are we that... Are we the same shit on the list? You want somebody to a family man? You ain't talked to your mom in six months. You want somebody to pray your teeth. You ain't been to the dentist in a year. You you want somebody healthy. All you eat is chips all day. And then they just, they just kept and she kept she it was right. it was funny. She's a comedian first to me. I look at her like a comedian, and then they right. just went. Right. They was going ape shit. She man, was trending on Twitter, and they was like, was "What about was your list?" Was she being serious or was she being funny? Like she I was talking so about what she she's talking about what she's doing herself to manifest love. She said, "I want to manifest love, so I'm gonna do this." And then everybody took it like they just blow. Like, what about your book though? And I'm like, "But she didn't say shit about the book. Like she wasn't even talking about that. She was just saying, yo, I want to do this.' So, and people just <laughs> so there was some guy. Well, I forget his name. Uh. Uh, I forget Geronimo. I don't remember some Kevin. I don't remember. And he had he had an interview with this woman, and she basically is a millionaire. Um, and she's like, oh, she made her millions off of being a pet groomer. And he was like, she said that she wanted like a dude that's six five, and he's also a millionaire and all this other stuff. And he was like, you can't get that. You five two and you ugly and you got kids. Yeah, I know who you talking about. You talking, you talking about, about that dude? His name is Samuel something. Samuel's Dr. Samuel. Yeah, what hey, is Samuel. Samuel's. He funny. And I didn't hey. like it. Yeah, he's rude. He's nasty. Listen, with me, but I'm he was talking to a dude who was twenty. Buddy was like, he's he's like, how tall are you, man? He's like, I'm like five six, five seven. He's like, how much you weigh? He's like, uh, I mean, it depends. Ain't like, no man. Fuck that. How much you weigh? He's like. He's like between 280, 295. He's like, so you a short, short fat fuck, huh? Yeah, you know, you it's his exact word. Like, what? He's like, do you have a big dick? Do you he's have like, a big I don't dick? Know. He's like, nigga, you know if you got a big dick. I have a big dick. I know I have a big dick. Do you have a big dick? He was like, I mean, it's straight. He's like, all right, so you're a short fat fuck. You don't have a big dick. You make less than $20,000 a year. And you think chicks shouldn't holler at you? Or you shouldn't holler at chicks? They should just, they should see you and come over to you and holler at you? What are you offering them? I was like, yeah, it was, it was, it was yeah, wild. I, was like, I, I, I guess it had to be delivered. said. I just guess it had to be said, child. I don't. Hey, y'all. Hey. <laughs> No, no. Yeah. he didn't have to yeah. put me. Yeah. Oh, she had to put her sweater on. <laughs> oh, she put her robe on. You had to put some protection on. <laughs> Cause that ain't child. Why? Why is he so aggressive and mean to them people? Listen, I don't he's feel no image like consultant. I don't feel oh, he's no an image consultant. about it because they continue to go to him. If y'all yeah. know this motherfucker punch you in the face every time you say hello and people constantly, knowingly go up and be like, good morning, hello, you deserve to get punched in the goddamn face with the hey, words. Hey, look, you here, here, look, 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 you got it. He wasn't, the dude he was talking to wasn't confident enough. Ask me, do I have a big dick? Say, do you have a big dick? Ronnie, now I want to ask you something. It's, it's not to get in your business. I'm completely secure in my sexuality. Do you have a big dick? In Jesus' name. Okay. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. it. Just let, just, just give it to God. It's like, nigga, what's up? Give it to God. <laughs> I'd be like, boy, why you want to know, nigga? I'm not. I'm not doing this with y'all tonight. Just... And Roddy said he got that. Roddy said he got the BDE. It's not big dick energy. He got blessed dick energy. He got my dick is. I got adequate dick, nigga. My dick is no. sufficient. Let's get there. But why yeah. do people sign oh up God. to go and get talked to badly? You know what I mean? Because people in the house that. bored on quarantine and they don't have nothing to do, and they want to go viral. He talked to Tommy from Love and Hip Hop too, but then they got together. It was weird. I was like, I mean, I mean a nigga said he had a big nigga in front of two thousand people. What you gonna do? I mean, I'm just yeah. saying, like, why would you? And he charges people for them to talk to him, right? Yeah, it's it's smart to me. So why would you pay somebody to talk to you bad if you want to feel bad? I like if I want to feel bad, I'll just pull my credit and look at that. Like, why? Would <laughs> let me I... tell you something though, Todd. Let me tell you. Let me tell you why <laughs> what he's doing is needed, right? Now, it might not be needed for everybody, but let me tell you why it's needed. First of all, there are people 
who have been told the same thing over and over again by friends, family members, ex-boyfriends or ex-girlfriends, like co-workers, boss. They've been told the same thing over and over again. But sometimes you're too close to that person for them to actually hear what you're telling them. So if, if it comes from a person that you have no type of relationship with and no type of uh, obligation to, and he tell you you a short, fat fuck with a little dick and you need to get your shit together, sometimes you be like, I really need to get my shit together because I'm already short and fat and got a little dick. Sometimes you need to hear from another source to recognize what the fuck is going on because everybody wake up to their own alarm clock. People have been mm -hmm. telling him for years he didn't hear it. Old boy told him, he was like, oh, I get what and you're he saying. said he made less that. than ten thousand a year or something like that, right? He said he makes like yeah, like I think it's less than twenty thousand or something like that. But yeah, yeah. Just something. So, but somebody so, like that though. That's the funny part. It's somebody who will somebody like hey girl, he nice. Long as he hit me in my face, bitch. I'm cool. <laughs> so 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 my question then is, you know, because I've never seen it. I don't know if it's a show or what, but I might see like a clip somebody might post or something. No. So all I see is this guy talking to people recklessly but then i see people having debates about saying like he's saying the truth he's just not right. coding it and like where do so are people signing up for him to say it yeah he pay, they pay for that and he go he goes live he goes live i just feel time. like I just feel like what makes him qualified to tell you like what you deserve and what you don't deserve like first of all that nigga's head looks crazy like I wonder how his mother's uterus survived that big ass head. That's what I want to know first of all. Well, what we're not going to do is degrade and belittle black women publicly. That's what we're not going to do. Okay, Kevin but Samuel, put your right? goddamn pocket square. Why you got a pocket square on a Tuesday? It's not even Saturday or Sunday. You ain't going nowhere. You in the goddamn house he's in a, your chair. Shut it up. He's a player, Allie. You got to understand those people sign up for that. No. If you sign enough for that, and yeah, listen, you're going I over there. I, under, I I completely understand that there's a proper proper way to say everything. Delivery is everything, right? I I, I get that. I get that. But you gotta understand if a motherfucker is known for this and you you go on there willingly and knowingly, you ask for that. You ask for that by name. You went yeah, up to the, you went up to the counter. And you was like, "Can I get a uh uh a number fifteen minutes of insults about my personal life, weight, and hygiene?" You guys still got that? <laughs> Wait, you asked for that shit. Yeah, true. Does he mm -hmm. you right. That's like the chick who put the glue in her hair. She asked for it. She asked for that stupid shit. Sid, what's up, baby? How you guys doing? I love everybody in here. How y'all doing? Sid, hey, hey, how are you, friend? What's going on, brother? You show up late. You show up with donuts and compliments. I don't have donuts. Hey, I love your hat. Uh, Allie Lethridge, I feel like I know you my whole life. Uh, Todd Davis, as always, is lovely to hear. My name, if I had freckles, I would, I would love to have them. Um, <laughs> Oh, that, was lovely. that was a lovely intro, bro. So I didn't even speak to Allie. How are you, Allie? You already told me you like big things. I, I never met say you hello. or Sydney. So hi, guys, for the first hi, time. How are you? Allie, I yes. feel like I've known you for years. That's crazy. You say you never met me. I, I could have sworn we've done, we walked right to the airport or, or something. I've definitely been on your page lurking. I was like, oh, she goes to the beach. You work out, right? I think I've, I may have seen you do push ups in a diamond. And I was like, I think in that's how. I think that's how. <laughs> I do she work out. I'm a visual player. She, yeah, she's she yes. a hooper, like real, real hooper. I was gonna say you're left-handed. Um, by choice, yes. Like, yeah, I was you. You remind me of a left-handed star, and I was like, I think that's Allie. Y'all didn't know Allie was in the WNBA. She was a rep. Oh, that's no. it is. That's it is. You called, you called the final in 2016, right? She, no. she, she got those black shoes just lined up along the edge of the wild. She be, she be looking like, ah, what am I going to look for today? I, I need Sydney to turn his voice off of light skin. I don't, I'm don't. i feeling uncomfortable. I, I know. Like he can't I'm like, who he like, bitch? Who he like? I'm going to mess him up. Who he like? Why pick somebody? Shit. So we can know. Hi. Right, you look amazing. <laughs> amazing. It's good to see you. To hear don't do bugs, baby. It's the mm. A-Lane. Hey. So you do not do bugs, baby. No, no, ma'am. Mm -mm. Y'all oh, got to do this episode tomorrow, man. It is. Oh man, yeah. it's such a good ass episode, man. I was like, we did that for about an hour and some. We did that for a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 man. That's why it's, it's good when people are actually in the Patreon because Patreon, anytime I'm filming, I, I I show one of the four episodes of the Patreon and they get to see behind the scenes and see it live. So they get to see the stuff when we got to, you know, go to the word and see how if it was pronounced correctly, all of that. You don't get to see that in the finished copy, but that uncut copy be ridiculous, man. Boy, so the uncut I, I is on see that one now. to hear? One, yeah, one. Um, there's always one version on the Patreon whenever I film. Uh-uh. Um, Word is hard. Oh, okay. I got Patreon, so I'm gonna watch you it. Feel, listen, yeah. you Allie got kids, and she forgot she had to be the nigga. She, she's disciplining somebody right now. She forgot. She's like, put that. Oh, one second. I'm- <laughs> no, I have a cat and I have a dog, and the dog he is six months old, and this nigga's big as fuck, and he his name is Avon Barksdale. A couple people asked. Okay. Avon Barksdale. That's a hard name. Great dog. name. It's a great name. Great I got a name. cat and I got a dog, and the dog is sitting I'm right from Long Island. It's a big ass dog. I don't know why my dog is so big, but yeah, this dog is big. Tell me, my dog looks like he's a dog. Don't do her. What about you get this fucking horse dog? I'm from Long Island. Ronnie, no, I'm you like the new. You like the new member of the roots. <laughs> It's a lot going on. It's a, my brother's here because his house caught on fire, so now he ain't got nowhere to go. So y'all hit my cash app. You didn't have to. You didn't have to put your brother business business up. Like right, right, right. He's he, he trying to get him out of the house already. He just got to hit FEMA. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't have to put him out of there like so that. You, you saying I look like fat thought? That what you trying to say? That's what it was. Listen, on the base. Blessed as fuck. That's your name. Your name is blessed as fuck, Ronnie. On the base. Blessed I'll be right back. I got to cut the heat on. I'll be back. I'm gonna go get her Uber Eats. Ronnie will play his face. Wait, I'm gonna up here. Ronnie, I'm gonna get her Uber Eats. This nigga got blessed as fuck on the, on the bass guitar. Oh. Yeah, what's the name of the band? It's not the Roots no more. We changed the name to Bless as Fuck because we got more booking. It's called The Roots. With a U. <laughs> the Roots. Like your grandmama say, Roots. <laughs> oh, no. Y'all thought y'all booked The Roots, baby? No, this The Roots with, with Fat Thought. You you ain't big. <laughs> you, oh, that's why I was only 2000? Yeah. Oh, man. They thought so they booked The Real Roots for two grand to hear. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I got the roots to come to my baby shower. My fucking gender reveal, nigga. Two bands. <laughs> Two bands show up. I'm just going to get another nigga with a, a fat nigga with an afro and one drum set. This is going to be me. Like, nigga, we need that back in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you missed no. Some- no. Wow. You got get DMX that old dog, dog over there. Is that is. Boomer? Do you got B- DMX dog Boomer? That's a, that dog aggressive as fuck. Is that a pit? That's a pet. No. That's not a dog you put Hey. He look like she's trying to be a statue. He's trying to be a statue. I, to be a statue. I, 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 I will ruin every fucking shit you got in this whole goddamn house. You tap me again like I'm a cat. I'll ruin this whole situation right now. You better zoom with the fuck. Like you better the zoom with the fuck. Yo, I know she didn't put me on camera, bro. <laughs> Hey, that dog, that dog got big cat energy. That dog act like a cat the way he turned his head at you. I ain't never seen a dog be that goddamn sassy in my life. He like turned his head like he did. I can't do the silhouette challenge. Go ahead, Ty. <laughs> I just got, I just got, I had to cut the heat on. I just got to let it get a little warm and then I'll come out my house. Got to knock, knock that chill out. Got to knock that chill out. It's a little chill. I got, I got, I got chill a spell. Got to knock off that chill. Ty been an auntie since she was four years old. She couldn't wait to go into that auntie spirit. Because she's not this old. That's what I'm like. She's not. You know, listen. Not. Our substitute teacher used to read her name. She's like, like, and ma'am, is ma'am here? Ty be like, yeah, that's me. I'm right here. <laughs> y'all got to understand, I have been a mother for a considerably long time. My my bit, my first child, my baby, will be 26 next month. I have been a mother for over half my life, fam. I'm tired, child. I'm tired. She That's why you went to the room. I'm tired. You so, look Ty, you was though. getting it in in '94. Listen, that's what happened. You was in '94. You was on side. That's what happened. '93, '94. It was a good year. Hey, you let it ride. '94. something to me. I did. What kind of car did he pull up in in '93, '94? Um, we were both minors, so he did not have a vehicle. It was his oh. parents' car. We. There we go. You know what I mean? One of the twins from Jagged Edge. <laughs> it wasn't out yet. So 
Really, y'all probably did it to to tender kisses by Tracy Spencer. That y'all was around New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> Go nowhere. Yeah, yep, that's what like it was. The fact that you know the song makes me feel good inside. It was the episode that that Eddie Winslow snuck into her hotel room that was y'all was watching when y'all got it in on his mama couch. And then that nigga Eddie Winslow said, "Whatever happened to the dream?" <laughs> <laughs> that nigga started singing. All right, all right. Yeah, cool. take it off. Oh, she pulling yeah, them out. Take it off. That heat, that heat kicked in. We good now. We good. You look like you about to do the, and for the floor exercise. Yeah, so Kim <laughs> interview earlier from DC. Todd <laughs> Davis on the floor exercise, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, so B Simone is in. Did you you heard about the whole thing with B Simone, right? I saw the I saw the. Uh, the advice she gave, and I saw Shaylin put up that she plagiarized that, and I said, "Y'all fucking reaching McDonald's on fucking Sue Burger King." <laughs> she was saying some <laughs> general. She plagiarized it from. How you plagiarize it from? Hey, listen, advice for women. That advice she gave, she didn't create. She just readdressed, which is fine. Like what she said was poignant and made perfect sense to me. It's like if you want somebody to have all these things, get your shit together at the end of the day. And if you took something outside of that, you insecure. Man or female. It basically, it's very simple. If you What's want you? someone to get that, that that has good credit, is in shape, has a shit together, has a good family man, then you need to be a good family woman, have your credit. And one woman was like, so she wants women to step down her standards. I said, she didn't say nothing about stepping down your it's, standards. It's, it's but if it's you her, want somebody bro. to have their shit together, you have their shit together. It's it wouldn't even be a conversation. Maybe, I don't know why you made it they weren't paying attention to the message. They they had an issue with the messenger. It sounds. It like. was her. It was, was her. Yeah, it was, it was just her. Around Ronda Rousey, Ronda Rousey coming out. But I think we need to defend female comedians sometimes. You know what I mean? Like, it, like the whole work. Just imagine if you're 26 and you you just started comedy, and every time you say something, the whole world jump on you. You're like, God damn! I'm trying to say the good stuff. And that's why I posted. I was like, "This is stupid that we we going." You should see the paragraphs under my. I put it on reels. I put thirty seconds of this up, and I got people arguing. This one lady told me my content ain't funny enough to put up shit like this. And I looked at her page. This bitch built like me. I'm like, "Bitch, you don't get to do this. We we come on, fam. Both of us can't do no push ups. Like, shut up." This, <laughs> shut <laughs> your brain, you know, built ass up. <laughs> That's all she said was get your shit together. If you want a man that has all these things, make sure you have them. And people had a problem with that. So if people had big problems. Is it possible? Because what it sounds like, I haven't seen it, but from what I'm hearing, she said a good thing. She said something positive. But but I think people are bringing up other stuff that she said, like the right. book thing and you know stuff that she said in the past. So are they still mad about that? And they just apply. They probably are. They got to get over it. They got to get out their feelings. That's already been handled. So they got to get out their feelings. That's already been done. That's been handled. My mind is like y'all the same people that lifted her up to this position. Y'all was the same people that retweeted, reposted when she doing funny hood stuff. Is it's cool. There you go. Cause she just did some skits with Desi the other day. They were going crazy. Like it okay. ain't like she stopped doing skits. She's still doing what she's supposed to be doing. But like it's like when some when a message comes from that girl, these ladies, some ladies lose their whole shit. And like anytime you type this much on Instagram, you need to stop. Just you, <laughs> this right here is too much. This much of sense. I need somebody to understand this. I need somebody now, to say this. She now, said, so no, she so took she took someone else's content. Now, I hope you're not talking about that speech. I that's hope yeah. not. That can't be no, nobody that, content. That, that was some regular said, shit. That speech she said, I need people to know none of y'all own that. No, it's nobody. Just reiterate. That's been said for years. That's been Leslie Jones had a joke about that back in way before she did that scenario, like years and years ago. It was just a joke. So that topic is not new. She just readdressed right. shit. She didn't say, hey, I just thought of this right now and I made it up. Like, no, she's just speaking to the masses about look, look shit together. Now, like, you don't that's not that. like how comedians be. You ever see a comedian that oh, think I everybody's heard. stealing his shit? <laughs> this nigga's stealing my that. shit. What do you say? Yeah, I heard that like she had like took some content. From something else, I don't know why it's anybody's business. Like, are you mad because what? she just? But that they keep what? bringing up the old shit because she said she didn't want a man that worked the nine to five. But like, in the reverse of that, she became a millionaire. Like over, like in front of y'all eyes, so she can attract right. a millionaire. Like, I don't understand. Okay, the people up. I think what she was trying to say about the nine to five was, 
I need an entertainer because when you're on the grind, and we can all attest to this, when somebody else is on the same grind as you, they understand your schedule better. They understand I ain't got to, I, I can call you at one in the morning because I'm at the club and you're not going to have flack about it. But somebody yeah. who doesn't understand the world will be like, well, I don't understand why you out one in the morning. I don't, they don't understand. So people heard, oh, nine to five. So the, the nine to five ain't good, man. Nah, I'm dumb niggas. She's basically saying that if you align yourself to somebody your field, they understand the pressures of what you're doing more. Right. And if, if, if you not, yeah. I'll say, like, here's the reality of the situation. Like, I haven't seen the video. I'm going to check the video out just, just so I can know for myself. But a lot of times, like, all of the people that's that's going in, in our comments saying negative stuff, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that. For every one person right. that say they don't like something that we said or did, it's a whole batch of people that do like what we do like literally yesterday there were people that every time i show up on squadcast every time they are saying something and i'm like okay who hurt you what what what, yeah. what is it that i triggered it's some, you? yeah like go with them. your mother go get Sarah. somebody said serious would be simone whisper that was funny nigga. go ahead who, no, there he is because it's because this type of stuff <clears throat> and and, and I can imagine, you know, what B. Simone must be feeling. She got, what, five, six million followers, and your comments are filled with people saying negative stuff. That type of stuff make you not want to go live and make you not want to interact and engage with your following and make you not want to go. So it's like, what you want, like, if you don't like what she said, if you don't like what she represents, if you don't like what she do, don't consume it. It's that simple. I'll be... I'll be I be surprised that like all the people that be hating, they still be following her. But like, why y'all follow her? Y'all don't like her so much. And, uh, and, and, this, this her. Is what, hey, and this is one thing I keep hearing. They keep saying she's a pick me. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't like when black people say that to other black people, especially black women. We done did all this protesting and shit all summer. We done watched the police choke us, kill us, all this shit. We done watch these white people storm the Capitol. And we don't got nothing better to do but mess with this one girl who's a comedian. Hey, like, right come now. on, fam. Do you know how people say stuff that they don't like? Stuff, like, you, you see, what? like, I see people say and do stuff that I don't like all the time. You know what I do? I don't follow them. I might see something and be like, woo, child, that's a mess. Scroll past. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> or unfollow. If it's. If it's something like I remember one one of my favorite all time singers is Stephanie Mills and she said some dumb shit. What well, she said it on Chris. She said it on Christian love. Mingle. What what platform did she say the dumb? No, shit she said it. <laughs> she said it on Instagram, and okay. I just politely just unfollowed her because I was like, okay, this is what you stand for. Because she made like a couple posts about it, and I was like, this is weak as fuck. And I just unfollowed her. I still will listen. What you gonna do with my loving? Right? What, but what, what Stephanie I'm not Mills said. Instagram. What did she say? I gotta know now. Yeah, what'd she say? So it was that whole shit with um Beyonce and the white chick, and like it was like, oh, we need to cancel this white girl and blah blah blah. And Beyonce didn't even say that. She was just like, all right, somebody brought my man a drink, like I right. and like it wasn't that oh, deep. Like she was like, they, she was she was fostering hate. Like there's a lot of hateful things coming out of that, and it wasn't that deep. And if y'all are part of the beehive, like. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it was that deep because Beyonce didn't even think it that was that deep. She didn't make a song about it. Allie, does Peebo Bryson does does Peebo Bryson have an Instagram? It's like who else good? You like is there other R and B artists that we should be following? Peebo Bryson. Are you following Will Downing? That's a raw music. That's a raw music. This Matt is making me refer to all the. Are you following <laughs> Ready for the World? Are you in concert? If if, if somebody paused that conversation and said, "Who is Ali gonna? What celebrity does Ali hate?" Put it in right here, niggas. If a nigga say Stephanie Mills, come on now. I don't hate Stephanie Mills. I love her music. Hey, stop it. I love her music, but I just don't need to follow her on Instagram. There you go. And look how we have like Pick up your feeling. CP. Hey, what's happening? What about that nigga mid bike, bro? So yeah, we don't know. What's that, CP? That nigga look like he is at Twitch right now. What's up, bro? 
<laughs> in Twitch. How you bring Twitch over here? That's what's up. What's going on? You got a cool ass background, man. I got to step my life up, man. Shit. Hey, man. For real. Is, uh, you know, um, the Scarface room. <laughs> but this is my I'm waiting for you to come on. What you got in the bowl, nigga? Fuck all that. What you eating, nigga? Nigga, nigga Olive know. Garden. Some Olive Garden to go, nigga. You this what shit. like what from Olive Garden? Because a lot of that shit ain't good from over there, bro. You yeah, they eat, 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 eat up everything in the market. You too, too rich, CP. I'm gonna tell you how we played it. So I went with the uh I got a uh I got a lot of shit. I got some minestrone, I got um some uh you know chicken alfredo, I got some uh lasagna fritters, the little fry lasagna bites, then I got the extra uh uh white sauce on the side to dip the breadsticks in. Now the only thing is the breadsticks can't be endless because I'm at the crib, so I gotta use my imagination, cut them in half, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know it ain't endless breadsticks. You gotta, you know, we got the dog got salad. I think I'm about food in the motherfucker. What's I had an olive like? garden. Ooh. I had an olive garden incident and I ain't been back. They put I don't know if they just thought I needed more salt on my food because I'm fat. But nigga, they put so much salt on my breadsticks. I was eating them whole. I had to knock them bitches off like like cigarettes before I bit one of them whole. I was like, nigga, why is there so much salt on this bitch? How you feel if they only had one salty batch? And they was like, man, ooh. Send it to his table? No, they was looking at me. I think a nigga was looking in the back like, big dude, I'm about to hook him up. He's straight. I'm finna get him because I know he gonna send these hoes back. (laughs) <laughs> this nigga salted up my bread. That's all the Olive Garden. I asked the waiter, I said, what's good here? He said, come on, nigga, we had Olive Garden. Like nothing. Nothing's good. The tequila's nothing. good, nigga. That's what's good. You want the breadsticks or not? Hey, man, look, I don't like that energy, nigga. If, if you real Italian, bitch, get out of here. If you don't know <laughs> want to hear all that. You know, I hate motherfuckers. Taco Bell ain't real Mexican food. But this ain't real Mexico. Bitch, Olive Garden should be a fast food restaurant. It should be drive through. It should. It should be like right next to Taco Bell. It should be right next to Jack in the Box. Like, you want some Olive Garden real quick? Give me number two with the breadsticks. Sydney, so then if that's the Olive case, Garden does not you... deserve a wait staff. So then why do you come here after graduation then? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> why do you come here after graduation then if, it's a, if it should be a drive through? That's clearly this is. This is the, oh, you, oh, no, no, no. Because that's where the hoes at, nigga. What you talking about? <laughs> If you after graduation, everybody pulling up to Olive Garden, even if you oh, don't like it. I like the um Olive Garden is fire. Also, uh have y'all been to Olive Garden in Atlanta though? Have you been to Atlanta Olive Garden? Nah. No, nah, what a what a difference. Nigga I feel like, like you know, they gonna, they gonna tell you what's on the uh yeah, you gotta go through all of that to hit the menu. It's like what are your specials tonight? This she, nigga walk up like what? shit, y'all. Shit. First of all, do y'all y'all niggas smoke? Y'all good? Y'all should. <laughs> I got I got pressure on me. <laughs> if before this shit, do y'all you straight? I got three fire going. They jumping, but I got the runs. <laughs> they always got runs, nigga. But it's never nigga runs. always got runs in the. You got the bag. You ain't got. The, you ain't got the shit. Oh, oh shit, dog. That's funny. Nigga. Wait a minute. Somebody said, Pop Back it me up. What did B Simone do? Uh they try to cancel her again. They try to cancel her again because she put up she gave some advice. She put up that she uh not she gonna she said like ladies got all this stuff in the man that they want on the list, but I require I'm gonna now she said I'm manifest love, so I'm gonna require uh, myself that be all this shit on the list before I require that from a man. Like if I want him to be successful, I need to be successful. What's I want him to be that? in shape. I need to be in shape. Bitch, you been eating fries. You been eating chips all day. Like she just and then women went crazy. <laughs> on her, bro. They went Nigga, crazy. Bro, go crazy on me because I agree, bitch. That's the right. What's wrong with these women? God damn. They women went crazy, crazy man. bro. They, That's they call her I everything is the child her. of God, but like they got it. They don't like her. Yeah, they just don't like her today. But how would you take that personal yeah, and bro. publicly get on the other side of the argument? Like, what you talk about, bitch? Ain't nothing wrong with not having your shit together. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck want a house, a big ass house anyway? Like, no, oh, but see, look, no, let's break it down like this though. If you work at CVS, not even in the pharmacy, what make you think a doctor want to date you? You know what I'm Man. saying? It's like, I mean, people at CBS do keep a date. You say what? If you got, 
If you got access to Percocets, I think you're going to find a date easily. Right, that, but that's why I said not in the pharmacy. Go, nigga, of course the pharmacy tech bitches. Nigga, that, that's cream of the crop. <laughs> nigga, Lean, Perks, Addy. Perk and Lean? I was like, nigga, I'm looking for a pharmacy plug tech right now. I don't even do none of that shit. Just, I'm talking about I'm talking about family dollar style, front of the store, talking about these niggas ain't hitting on shit. I need to meet a doctor. Like, bitch, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you need to go to the doctor. How about that? You need to go to the doctor. When he take what about when he take her to that dinner CP? What about when he take her to the Doctors of the Year award ceremony? That hood chick that work at CVS. Oh, nigga, you don't see all the way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My nigga in the Hall of Fame, bitch. You see what it is? <laughs> you see what it is? I brought my cousin with me, so we a whole shit down. What's up, boo boo? Yeah, we. When you walk in, they say, "Do you want steak, lobster, or both?" Bitch, I said, "Or both." Or both. Or both. Oh man. What's Sydney doing, man? Sydney ain't been still more than five minutes. We just hey, got Allie here. Where, where is this nigga at? I don't know. Allie's dog Sydney. about to shit on her. It's it's a crazy night, man. It's what happened your dog, night. Allie? He's so horny. Ugh. Sorry. Stop. Hilarious. Why you say it like what? that? He's so horny. Stop. The dog like, so horny. That dog like, boy, say that shit again, bro. That hey, Sid, where you at, bro? I mean, LA, that dog used to still is selling dope right now. He had to be still like, I'm supposed to be on the corner making my bread. You got me in the goddamn room cooked up. She got an old police rescue dog. He looking for all the drugs hidden in the house. It's <laughs> like, a 3-5 in this couch, I promise you. You just... You know, look, back. Just... This nigga is <laughs> crazy right now. Yes, he is humping my foot. At least somebody going to hum- suck my toes and lick my feet. Shit. Uh, well, oh, you have your shit like, where a man would want to come lick your toes? Is your is your toes done? Like you want the man's toes? No, I'm joking. Hey, uh, real talk. That dog, like, she showed us last time she was on here that she missing a toenail on her pinky toe. Yeah, oh, she yeah. Her, she her pinky but, toe. but the thing about the CP, CP though, I fuck with CP because he was like, you know, I had I had then said, okay, you know what, you're doing too much. I had then said that um I I was born early. I was born six weeks early. And he was like, you know what, why you ain't lead with that? And you're right, I should have. I'm underdeveloped. Yeah, yeah. Use the premium. Ain't no goddamn pinky toenails on no premiums. Anyway, look, pinky toenails like the last two days of pregnancy, pinky toenail come. But listen, <laughs> so if you miss that, then you miss your whole semester of toenail. But that's not hey, the point. CP, you missed. She said she just unfollowed Stephanie Mills too. So I don't know. You can't be old. I saw and that. Young I, saw that. I was in the waiting room. I saw that. Here go the thing. Though. That dog. That dog. Like you got him fucked up. Yeah. He didn't lick the toes and shit. Like he's he's ready to fuck. And you owe him that. In his mind, you know, I didn't lick the toes. Like that that nigga, that's, that's foreplay. If a nigga horny licking the toes, what you mean? He say no goddamn massage. Fuck in his neck. <laughs> <laughs> the no, dog over there no. like oh my goodness the dog over there like oh my goodness baby boy you brought me the game you said <laughs> y'all love me you brought me these clothes I love you where is your mom oh, damn <laughs> that nigga said you brought me this game they bought this nigga a video game and moved him in her mama house do y'all think about <laughs> the toxic shit that went on on baby boy <laughs> Hey, that shit was crazy as hell. Baby Boy was just, it was a toxic ass movie all the way around. It was, it was all the way toxic. toxic. It was all the way I was like, why, why, why did they pick this movie to keep playing on BET? It wasn't nothing else available for them that to like. Kept, yo, they Man, wanted us to look forward right. to. Well, I don't want to say that. The moment yeah. Jody put them little ass dates on that Honda Accord, I know he was stupid. Yeah. I was like, okay, you dumb as hell, first of all. Why? Well, why? Any, any, nigga, any nigga with a tricked out bike. Like that, that nigga bike is like, bro, come on, fam. The bike, dog. This nigga got a big ass Chevrolet bike. I mean, what kind of Chevy bike is this? What kind of old school 57 Bel Air old rims ass bike? Is this? What kind of, what is this? Hey, that nigga got, that nigga got a Pee Wee Big Adventure bike. Yeah. And then, I'm out of here with this big ass bike. The handlebar is right here. Nigga, you, how you gonna be gangster with the handlebars next to you? Yo, they nigga, robbed me. <laughs> This motherfucker wheelchair it. practice. Hey, they robbed Jody and gave him his bike back. Don't nobody want your punk ass bike because <laughs> this nigga threw that shit back on it. Hey, that was the funniest part of the whole movie. That's what got the nigga stocked up, though, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, don't take my shit in, call it whole ass because now, now y'all got to get punched in the park. And that's just that's, that's bottom line. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. This nigga it's time to punch eight, y'all in the park. He got an $8,000 bicycle. <laughs> not, not the five is 
Not a job in sight. This nigga has a bicycle with a five thousand dollar paint job on it. By the trying to get some respect custom. from Melvin, though. I mean, right. Melvin don't respect you. That goddamn bike. Hey. Yeah, like, nigga, I'm in here fucking your mama standing up. Nigga, you think I give a fuck about you, nigga? Yo, when Melvin licked that nigga on top of the head, Jody thought he was so raped. He was like, oh, this nigga God. about to take it. Oh, yeah, that nigga <laughs> licked Jody, his head, that too? That nigga said, yeah. Yeah, Jody that's said, right there. That's something different. Jody that's said, different. yo. <laughs> He just licked my my scalp. Nigga, don't you ever take them goddamn glasses off fast. Music soul child, goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> hey. Nigga, that shit like a slot machine. I'm like, goddamn, nigga finna hit the jackpot. Nigga finna be like, I, 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 I. Hey, I can't help. If if it's a magnet in my mouse, that means that I gonna do like this. Man, nigga, you my nigga. My mouse pad got a magnet in it. I'm sorry. What I'm gonna do? All right. That nigga took them glasses off his life. <laughs> 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 hey, they said I I L O L. Hey, they, somebody typed the word I I I, I out all the way like four times. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for y'all. Um, how do my brain hurt, dog. My motherfucking brain hurt. Ollie, that's a big ass dog. He gonna fuck you in your sleep. He not little enough for you to like put it like this. <laughs> put it like this. You gotta crate that nigga in the, in the trunk. You ain't gonna be able to put him in the no crate. Now. Hey. He's six months old. Yeah, hey, dog. That dog yeah, is good a sigma. With motherfucking Scooby Dick over there. That, that <laughs> dog is a sigma. That dog went to Howard, nigga. Nah, that <laughs> He got a cute brand. <laughs> brand on the left side. Hey, Ronnie, he said shit like, I, I ain't go there. I used, I used to be up there all the time. I ain't never, I ain't go there, though. I, I was up the there all the time, I man. used to be on the yard. I used, my cousin was a sick. <laughs> I was on the yard. My cousin was, was a cute dog. I was regular dog. My cousin was a cute dog. <laughs> I was in the yard all the time, man. Yeah. That dog played yeah. great chapter. This nigga oh. was a three-sport athlete. Yo, Stop. hey, can I ask y'all something? How can how niggas becoming gang members so old? Like y'all notice niggas start claiming gangs when they like thirty eight, like thirty seven. Yeah, they go alumni. Do they they do grand chapter? You just got to pledge online. You got to write a paper. Do you yeah, really you go, you you go alumni. You got to yeah, co-sign yeah. for a nigga whip or something. You got to do some grown shit. You got to pay for one nigga bond. You know, this nigga got to rent three vans to get in the cribs. <laughs> Hey, this nigga show back up. Yeah, I cross. That about like rappers and, and, and RB singers, niggas get, get famous and then want to join a gang. It's like nigga, just just buy some stocks. Why the fuck you wanna wanna join the gang? Cause I want to wear blue at the war show, nigga. I just crossed crib, nigga. I mean, that is true. <laughs> what if, what, what if that's the only way that, that you can wear some red though? Like you got joined the gang, so, see, so like the new Jays come out like man, now I gotta fucking pledge blood because I these, these new Jays when they come out. I'm getting them bitches. I don't give a fuck. Somebody yeah, said niggas. Is, somebody said niggas is banging in bingo. <laughs> what you about to say, Ty? Ty, what was uh -huh. you about to say? I'm just laughing. Uh, somebody uh, said okay. You okay. gonna say something? Last question. Mm -hmm. I saw that in there. Oh, um. Now I'm froze. I done forgot. <laughs> Oh, you got Jasmine Sullivan vibe right now. You know what I mean? You said what? You got real Jasmine Sullivan vibe going on right now. Oh, background and everything. Don't forget to pick up your feelings. We think you're not froze, nigga. We know you're not froze. <laughs> <laughs> he trying to be fucking <laughs> pretending like he froze. <laughs> I really was froze. <laughs> oh, God, nigga. That nigga looking at the comments. If we and Ty had a bop Ty, we should probably go live on Instagram at least once a week because that shit was popping on a Tuesday, my nigga. No, because they done got on my nerves earlier today. Like so I so I got off of live earlier because I think you came in near the end, right? So I was on there, I was doing an unboxing and you know, just talking, you know, kicking it with the with my internet friends. And I hate when people like read the room in life. You don't have to be a comedian. Like, why don't you, what is with people wanting to inject themselves into something immediately? Come in, sit down, take a look. So I'm sitting here talking about mental wellness and how to be, you know, loving on yourself and self-care. And this person comes in and they like, oh, you just need a good man. 
that is not the cure for major depressive disorder. Mm, that is not it's like not. telling someone, like telling people with mental health issues that they need a man or a woman or they need money and they need all of these things. That's not what fixes those issues. Otherwise, not. why would people who are millionaires still commit suicide? Because the money wasn't enough to keep them happy. Like I be so annoyed sometimes. And then somebody in the comments tried to crack slick. And I'm really, cause I had therapy today. So I'm trying to like not be that person, but they were like, why is Ty here? Fuck out of here. Why you here, bitch? Okay, why you here? I was trying not to be this person. Why you here? Uh-uh, uh-uh, don't, don't, get, don't get me demonetized. Don't get me demonetized. Yeah. Turn this shit off. Okay. Okay. We, got, we got the joke. We got the joke when you said it the first time. It didn't need no. to drop. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, watch you here get, yo, to here get burgundier when he get mad. <laughs> burgundy hue to him. Nigga try to mess up the church's money, Roddy. I say, hey, nigga, no, hey, we hey, don't hey, this ain't the Patreon Zoom, baby. When the Patreon come on, you can do that. You got uh, a uh, burnt orange color to him, like a one of them. Yeah, I mean, people, like, a little auburn, people, a little auburn. <laughs> people are really weird. Um, I don't know. I, I I don't know if he told you guys, but my birthday was on Sunday. <laughs> Happy um, birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy thank birthday. you so much. I learned a lot in my 27 years of life. A lot of shitty things. Um, but I really, I learned that you should not ever trust a bitch who ain't got no edges. You would have been 28 if you wasn't a preemie. <laughs> I'm 28. You're supposed to be. Yo, why? Yo, you was born right around when Ty's daughter was in daycare. <laughs> First of all, I was born six weeks early, but you know, like I made it, my nigga. Just hey, black don't it, crack, man. I can't, I can't lie, y'all, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, black don't crack. Uh, you see a motherfucker that's cracked up, you be like, damn, black crack sometimes, don't it? Black, <laughs> black shatters sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes black be cracked. I the fuck was not like, born in you twenty six. Like goddamn. You say, <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> some of these dudes is coded in Beijing. You don't even know niggas whole oh, forehead. Oh, listen, black. listen. I be listening, dog. It's a couple <laughs> niggas that I know for a fact. Like, we we know, me. bro. We they know. bolder than me, but they be taking hey, pictures of me like, whoa, whoa. Come on, Sid. Just say they're bald as well, nigga. Don't, don't say bald than you. I know. I said bald to me because they lost their hair before I lost mine. That don't mean they bald. Yo, Sabine, we can meet up. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying that these niggas are ball ball, and they like. And one of my niggas, I know he got a hairpiece, but he be playing like yeah, all that shit is, and I let him make it because it's you, the grand thing. What are you doing, see? How you be fern? Do, do, do he be scratching it like an itch for real? Like, man, this hair shit, man. Yeah, like your hair don't grow like that. Hair don't What's hair this? Hold on, hold on. You, wait a minute. What, your friend has a hair piece. Are you? I know this nigga got a hair piece. I told Zaynab. I said this nigga. Got is a it hairpiece. long? How is it like? My, is it like this much? He got this much. No, of see that's a, listen. That looks natural. Doesn't it look natural? It looks natural. When the right. shit looks floppy, like it. That's because it's. It's because it's a cap, nigga. Like niggas, it, just, it just amazes me that you're some kind of expert in in, in head of hair and in, in, in like I a head hair. I, I was the only real nigga that said I'm just gonna go bald. You feel me? And these niggas is really out here. You know? But when you go bald, Sid, you're out of the conversation, buddy. It's like, that's all right, true. well, don't bring up pieces of nothing. I get a beard and they, they, they never noticed. No, you look <laughs> handsome. If you didn't have a beard, it'd be weird. I appreciate that. Now, now, compliment CP. C is a pause. <laughs> what I'm saying is, no one forgot about me because I have a beard. You understand? <laughs> What you trying to say? She can't compliment me. See, that's what you trying to say. You trying to say, hey, nigga. Shout out to the BS. Can't she can't compliment me. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, 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 Sydney, can we? Sydney. She said, <laughs> Sydney, no, you got a beard. You can answer. You still look nice. Good. Now compliment CP. I mean, he's funny. That nigga funny. She start playing, playing with the dog game. <laughs> <laughs> look at CP loading up. That nigga is. Yeah, I know. As a comedian, he like, I got six hey, on me. Hey, he. This nigga is putting the clips. He putting the. <laughs> Remember, I don't like, why, why you even fuck with me, see? You know she want to compliment me, nigga. I'm complimentable, nigga. Why you want to do that, bro? Why you want to fuck with a real nigga, dog? You know, what I'm saying we like, friends. I don't want to fuck with a beautiful. You made some. You made a beautiful family. 
<laughs> Who, me? Hey, Sydney. You got some. Sydney is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Welcome. Very, very handsome. I am tall. Like I'm the shit. Go ahead. How tall are you? How tall are you? I'm taller than tall. you. Tall. See, tell. here go the thing. Okay. Here go the thing. All right. Five, on, eight oh, and a half oh, inches tall. You okay, man? I'm five ten. I'm five ten. So let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. And Ty is six foot. So we both taller than you. Right, but see, I feel like as a preemie, God gave you a boost. Like I didn't, I didn't need that. God gave you a quick, God gave you a quick if beta anything, carotene, bam, beta carotene growth spurt. To be bam. honest so, with you, I was five seven all throughout college, and I'm now five ten. So I grew after college. Wow. We talking about height? I, Y'all want me to leave the conversation? I don't want to be, I don't yeah. Be a bully. Fuck you, Sid. I don't want to be a bully. I'm gonna leave the conversation. I don't want to be a bully. Sid, how tall are you? Six four and a half. Since y'all asked. Okay, yeah. six four and a half. Yeah, lost my hair when I was five eight. I grew up. I grew up. This nigga, this nigga so tall. His head hair is now his chest hair. Nigga, fuck you. Nigga, like yeah. Oh, my waves right here. Waves right here. Yeah, I, I fucking grew up. I'm I put it down. Hey, a wardrobe change. Ron and Jordan let you know it comes in different colors. I just had to. I had to let y'all know. I just crossed crib while y'all was talking. Y'all didn't know. <laughs> oh, this nigga got all the flavor. They did just a new one with the black power fist on there. You know, we're gonna hey, switch Ronnie, the no problem, for a little bit. You still, yeah. have, uh, you still have the pink one, I think around Valentine's Day you had. You still got that one? That's what I had on the whole show. I just took that. That's what okay. I had on. I, I'm gonna get that from you. Yeah, the pink crew net. It's been yeah, out, but I just started wearing it. Shit. So appreciate it, bro. This is my uh this is the King Griffey Jr. when he first got drafted. Look, that that hat. Hey Ronnie, do like you got one that say ball? Do you got one that say ball this fuck? Or just like <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know if you can could, could you bring one up? Maybe a hat. Maybe a little retired veteran hat. Retired. Hey, this nigga said person, I had to you know change this, this this nigga said Maybe I had like to change. Retired veteran hat. Like, <laughs> this, this is it right here. This is the retired veteran. This is the I'm saying, but you need to say barbershop retired as fuck. You know, I used to be at the barbershop, man. I make my little appointment. And I wrote a bad man. Fuck you, see? You talking about you six four, nigga? Fuck you. Bald AM is coming. <laughs> y'all, like, y'all know I come on now. Oh, bald AM. I'm not gonna say that. She's not telling you. Nah, I got an answer. Nigga said bald AM. Nigga. What's anyway, up, Ty? What somebody, you doing? Say, somebody said I, I changed. Make, what you making? making commercials ACB. or something over there? What are you doing over there? Ty somebody like, in the comments. Hey, to hear your comments getting rude. They said I had to change my comforter. <laughs> Ronnie, Ronnie change comfort. Let me tell this you is, something. Let me tell you wow. something. Let me tell you. This why I don't. This why I don't. That's why I don't shop so at. Uh, that's why I don't shop at Banana <laughs> Republic no more. I I went to Banana Republic. Um, the one out there in um, it's a mall out there in the Porter Ranch, and I asked them if they had any two X's. I I had found a couple shirts, but I was only finding the XL. It was like. Yeah, we don't we don't keep any two X's in the store. I was like, why not? She was like, they take up too much shelf real estate. I said, bitch, it's a shirt, not a comforter. Yeah, but to hear you shelf should know better, estate? nigga. That's 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 banana Repub- republic, not roast beef republic. Like nigga, they got they have a fruit in the name, nigga. They they got a, you know, got they have two XL. This they nigga wearing a fruit in the name. They don't have to provide no two X's. Nigga, what's what you yo, mean? Nigga, take your ass to yo. take your ass to my fucking uh pizza republic. Nigga, this this is uh, hey, hey, that's one of those stores all fat people be like your whole crew be like, let's go in there. I need to open a store that. called the Oxtail Republic. Nigga, it has some sweet ass <laughs> <laughs> sweet ass sweatshirts in there and shit. Hey, we are an underserved market for real. Big dudes had to pay like forty dollars for a plain black t-shirt. So I, I'm with it. Oxtail Republic coming soon. Okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> roast beef republic. <laughs> the roast beef republic is the most <laughs> hilarious <laughs> shit. Fucking funny, dog. Hey, think he a bully, man. That nigga's a bully. <laughs> Nigga, funny as hell, it, whatever. We ain't gonna talk about it, bro. That's all we can get. I, I, I just said for real, you funny as hell, CP. That's like all you heard I was for real, bro. I this, said this you funny is, as hell. This nigga is a tortured soul, nigga. This nigga, I know this nigga, bro. This nigga is, this nigga is a villain. Y'all don't know this nigga. Nigga, this nigga, nigga me. Hey, I broke my computer chair, Ronnie, right? I said it wrong. I broke it, my gaming chair, whatever. First thing, CP come in. God damn you, fucking big ass nigga. They make this shit for regular size. It was such a nice chair, nigga. Here. 
his shit felt like car seats. It was just a nice, sturdy ass chair. It's like, God damn, two, five, four, bum ass nigga. <laughs> hey, if, if, if I go to CP house, I'm gonna just post up on the wall. Then he's like, You want to sit down? I'll be like, Hell no, nah, I'm, yeah, nah. I'm gonna just kick it. <laughs> Why is this thing on the wall? Nah, I don't want to. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a spot yeah. for you, Ronnie. It's gonna say couch as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Nigga, I, I broke a chair one time in a meeting, a TV network meeting, nigga. That bitch snapped on the way out. I just left. I was like, you know what? <laughs> the meeting I'm, was going good up until then. Meeting was going good. I, I rolled that. Look, I rolled it back to get up, and that bitch said, the, the wheel said, Whoa. I was like, this. I was like, man, my leg. God damn, my leg itching. <laughs> oh, yeah. you had to fake an ACL injury, nigga. I think I, I might have put the wheel in my pocket and left that bitch. Like fuck this, nigga. I'm taking I the bless wheel. Everybody, baby. real quick, man. Real talk. I want to bless everybody. Cash app. Uh, so what I'm asking for right now is somebody send me a hundred dollars. I'm gonna give everybody right now five, 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 seven, seven. So but the more for me to be a blessed, I need you to bless me. I'm not gonna say we're gonna get the seven. It's gonna be like a little surprise when you when you get the ding. But hit my cash app. Hit me with hundred dollars. I'm gonna bless five, five, seven, seven, and you know, I'll let you know right now. Allie's not getting the seven because her dog is just out of pocket. So uh, she's gonna be one of the five. So the seven. I need five, even more nine. so I can afford his training. <laughs> <laughs> that dog is Brian from the Family Guy in there. That dog got he writing a book right now. That dog in the back of the floor. Like, she doesn't think I'm a goddamn six month. I'm be. She is. He is reading. He is reading that novel right now. He. That that dog. That dog is a nuisance. You understand me? It is. A, it's a complete nuisance. You need to get that dog slap box cat when he goes outside. Hilarious. Good dog. Say slap box a cat. That dog will kill a cat. You understand me? No, he doesn't. Oh, man. Hey, have y'all seen the, uh, the hey, shit out there, cat? Have y'all seen this show, this new show on FX called Hip Hop Underground? Uh, and they just show all the like, you know, all the street motherfuckers that put up the money for the rappers that you don't know about. about. That shit, no, they got me. I, what'd you say? Thanks, Mark Gregory. What happened? Sorry, somebody sent me money for dog training. That's some hate man shit. Mark that's, Gregory. That's, that's, that's some hate man shit. Let me tell you niggas something. When I say send me the money first, you motherfuckers send me the money first. They sent you the money. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't seen me turn up, Peter. I'm trying to be a nice little Christian. These motherfuckers send somebody else some money and not do what I said. I'm going to turn up in this time. Clearly said I would pass it out. I clearly said I would pass it out. Oh, you, look like when, you look like when the choir director be going off in practice. I don't, y'all just don't have to come Sunday, okay? <laughs> it's fine. It's, I will do the jamboree by myself. I, yeah, I can play the piano, Charles. I can play the piano. So if you don't want to hit the fucking key, I can play them. Pastor Sydney got a SoundCloud, baby. I do have a SoundCloud. Yes, I do. Bro, I keep freezing up. Can I this just ain't my first church. What's going on? What's going on? Man, bro, I hate this damn StreamYard it? shit, dog. Is the stream, right. it's StreamYard that's doing it? StreamYard is terrible. Look at look look how crazy I'm looking right now. Look at this. Look at this. You're in the garage. <laughs> it, it, it lagged a little bit. Okay, 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 okay. So damn, it had my eye and that bitch lag. God damn, I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't, I ain't yeah, y'all, y'all, I lagged everybody. I was like, I, I forgot you had a lazy. I was like, oh yeah, shit, bro, that shit was like staring at a dead body for a minute. <laughs> I, I, let me tell you, so I have a cataract. I had a cataract on this eye, and I got surgery on it, right? right. I had, it was one on this eye that wasn't big enough to cut yet, so I don't want I just didn't want them to cut on both of my eyes at the same time, but I will get it fixed if everybody bothered for it, but I don't no, I don't no, give it to you. I don't like surgery unnecessarily, huh? Yeah, just wear glasses every time you're around me. I'm not tripping. You stupid as hell. If I... <laughs> Yeah. If you up in my house and you take your glass off for more than five minutes, you gotta get the fuck out. I ain't tripping. You gotta go. But it, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna just no warning, nigga. Absolutely not. You better goddamn warn me. Yo, See, I'm about to hey. you off. Okay. Hey, stop wrong with this nigga Sid, dog. Hey, yo, Sid. Sid. My, so that's what my wife made me keep him on while we was doing it. She was like, yo, fam. Come on, baby. Every time, listen, every you time know what I, she was like, you know what I like you in, though? Sid. That nigga was like, yeah, I'm about to get no, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey. Hold on, but I can't see. No, 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 no. 
You can't show your real life till she say, I love you. Look, it didn't happen till I got married, nigga. That's what happened. I was straight. I was cute as hell in the early 2000s. I was killing shit. Oh my God. Uh. Hey, man, I'm back. I'm back, man. I'm back. Hey, man. I'm back. It's it like yeah. every time somebody come on, they knock somebody out, knock Allie <laughs> off. Allie dog know, and cut that dog, dog, nigga. That dog, that dog cut, cut the internet line. Like, no, bitch, I said it's time. <laughs> they unplugged the router. He said, ain't no, ain't no Wi-Fi, bitch. I said I'm ready for my walk. You said yeah. you want your hair braided, but you're on this goddamn show. You want your hair braided or you want to do it the show? Let me know what you want me to do. You said you want your hair braided. <laughs> hey, I know you got to take your dog for a ride in a minute, but uh, shut up. <laughs> I feel like that dog walk on his hind saddle, legs. boy. That dog got a y'all go for a walk. The dog walks on his hind legs. He be walking you. Oh, he walk like he you. got to take me for a ride, nigga. Yeah, that's a big ass dog, man. You gotta let that nigga go. He's man. big as fuck, bro. He's mad cute, but that nigga is big and and just bad as fuck. Like yeah, I mean, also not even mad cute. Like dog, you gotta tell niggas before they come in. Are you scared of dogs? <laughs> Before you walk in, you scared dogs? Yeah, you scared dogs? Because he, he only six months. Like, I ain't scared no six month dog. Walk in, it's a grown man ass dog. Rolling He's up. Who you, you doing? That dog, like, rolling a blunt while she walk in. He, like, what's up, my nigga? You good? What's up, you good? <laughs> you good? What's up, my nigga? What's up, my nigga? You good? You good? <laughs> and nigga, like, what's the so, nigga the Wi Fi? <laughs> hey, what school you went to? <laughs> dog, somebody, you, what school you went to? <laughs> hey, who your grandma? <laughs> hey, yo, you say shit like this. Give me some of that weed. What weed? In your pocket, nigga. I smell it. Give me that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you <laughs> from Strong Island? Your dog say, yo, you from Strong Island too, fam? You from Strong Island? <laughs> 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 What them dogs look like over in your neighborhood? There's some bitches over there? Some... <laughs> your, dog, your dog be on the porch talking about, I got that gas, got that gas, got that gas. I got that gas, got, got that them gas. Got hey, them fuck around. Dog, I tell you, you tell you, you some shit about your dog? Your dog sick, huh? I smell it. Your dog sick? <laughs> your dog sick, I smell it. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> your dog sick, nigga. That's hilarious. Oh, Your dog walking the house, cop keep fucking with me. Like, whoa, whoa, dog. <laughs> but you think you tied it? That looked good as fuck. What's that? What was that? It was a butterscotch crumpet. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you will not eat butterscotch in the damn road. Hold on, what did she say? It was a butterscotch what? <laughs> a butterscotch oh, crumpet. A butterscotch crumpet. A butterscotch God, crumpet. Crimping? Yeah. Crimping. Nah, I, I don't want you to be that Ooh. old. You try so hard. See, we getting, so what is the butterscotch carpet? Is it nigga? We getting the behind the scenes. This so is this is like big booty food, food right here. This is how it happens. <laughs> this big booty ever, food. Oh, this big with crumpets, nigga. Come on. You got to be saved to get a crumpet order. Look, here it is. It's tasty cake. It's a tasty cake. Uh, oh, hell really? no! That's the. Damn. Baltimore is the only place. Hey. I thought it was fancy. I thought it was something fancy. Baby, that's the kind of snack when you over her house and like she sleep, you put her sleep, you going to give her your restroom. He's like, oh, I'll fuck with these real quick. She ain't gonna know. Baltimore is the only place that I've ever <laughs> seen uh, like. But the, why the is the why the flavor why is the flavor so Christian though? Butterscotch is the most saved flavor. I love butterscotch. <laughs> I like butterscotch <laughs> candy. I like the butterscotch crispy. You can't even say butterscotch. No, you got to say butterscotch, baby. Him. Hey, I'm here for it, though. I'm here for it. That's the kind of, that ain't nothing but ass jiggle food. You know what I'm saying? Like, that makes sure your booty stay moving. That's all. Fuck the gym. Crimpets, man. Get crimpets how your ass like. Crimpets. be begging like it's shivering. I just want a little bit of warm flick. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing on but a thong. This is right here. That's all I got. I'm sorry. Come on. I'm sorry. Alley dog trying to holler and tell Let me see you. Got that move. Alley shit. Hey, 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 I had my dinner. I washed it down. With speaking of food. speaking of thongs, was my dessert. Okay, all right, huh? Shit. There it is. There. Said, speaking of thongs, speak, speaking of thongs, I was talking to my dad the other day, and he said he was dating this big girl, and she was really cute, and you know she looked good with the thong on, but then she took it off, and it looked like a joke, bro. <laughs> Now, Ali, your dad trying to reveal some stuff. A few girls on here that's gonna be like, "What the bitch say? What she say? So... I'm gonna tell you this. <laughs> what she say? What she say? I'm gonna tell you this. Back in high school, I decided to give a big girl a chance, right? 
got down to the panties, regular panties. Took the panties off. It was a thong underneath the panties. She, she was like, oh, shit, wait. <laughs> This <laughs> is so goddamn funny, bro. She had a CP. What is it? Oh, so there it is. She, she said, she, it is. Her sister is stealing it. She said, Bitch, you stole my thong. I had it on last night. And so her and her sister fell out. She had to call her sister. Bitch, I found it. I found yeah. it. That means she didn't watch it at one point. That's hilarious. You find <laughs> Oh damn, that's hilarious! You know that stomach hangs so down, bad. bro. That stomach, you you don't know what kind of drawers you got on. You gotta trust that you took drawers up. That nigga say, "There it is." <laughs> Yo, stop that's what is it is. Like you, so funny, CP. Oh bro. shit! Nah, I tried to, I tried to fuck a big girl once too, and then she left her panties on the table, and they was that? brown. Oh, 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 back, oh, up, back, oh, up, oh, back up, real quick. Back up, real quick. Hold on, real quick. This 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 why this why your dog a freak. He know you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> he like she and he he know you. He said you and he. He said bitch. We he both in heat. What is you on the phone for? Were you in heat on me? Do something. We heat. We playing Chris Brown. This bitch got you in heat. Oh my god. Wait a minute, Ali. You was trying to hit a big girl, and what happened? Yo, you know what it was? Well, what she was bossy. Big girls is always bossy because their blood pressure gets low if they don't have their food in time, and if the if the heat if the if the if the. I treat big girls like like animals at the zoo. Like, don't call me till you fed, bitch. I'm I, I'm coming for a good time, not a long time. You know, I. If the temperature ain't right in the place, they'll be aggy. Anyways, the the whole thing was she left the drawers on the table and it was a doodle stain in the drawers and my grandmother said well I tell y'all it just because you big don't mean you gotta be nasty but she was being big and she was being nasty and that's a no-no did you well, what offer if you to help get that ass for her because if you're not gonna help who I don't know what kind of she don't sound like she had long ass arms hey it's spots what? you can't get to no, what no, no, that's not my job. Meeting up that day. Was that what, what was the circumstances? Like, I got a stick. Did you say pull up, or y'all was already had planned to go out? No, was, was was, it was a weekend. It was a weekend trip, and the bitch was she had access to bath water. This is this is why y'all so judgmental. What y'all eat that weekend? Was it some shitty food? This is, this is why we have a food? lot of hummus, baby. Come over to the crib, experience a bidet for a couple hours. You be like, yo, I gotta get a couple of these motherfuckers in my house, right? Allie be playing girls one on one. I'll play you for your heart, huh? Allie be playing girls one on one. I'll play you for your heart. And then look, and then she flick, and then she fake like she go throw the ball at him and break it, bounce back to her sandwich. What's up, bitch? What's up, bitch? Like she like game. Start playing hard as hell. Like what's up, bitch? Game holding. I'm gonna shoot right here every time. Hey, when lesbians get mad and other lesbians and they argue, they be like, fuck you, you little titty bitch, and your strap on little ho. Like, did they say it? No. <laughs> did they do that? Okay. Wait, Listen, no. what was the conversation Wait. after the doodle stay, though? What happened after? Did you throw them in the tub or did you rinse nah, them out? It was like, it was a birthday weekend. And like, so there was mad niggas around. I was like, ew, who panty draws is those? I was being petty. You made a scene? Yeah, All you gotta do is look at the circumference of the panty waistband. Mad disrespectful for that. I could have just put them in the sink and washed them with some clean and cute panty wash, but I didn't. You you throw them away for her. Panty wash? Wow, how trifling! (laughs) Yeah, they they got panty wash. They have a panty wash. Yeah, Yeah, because y'all niggas. No, because we want to combat that BV that y'all niggas be dropping off. Fucking spitting on the pussy with grabber in your teeth. God damn it. Don't, what's don't, me, don't. First of all, don't, don't. Hey, 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 hey. You're fucking big. <laughs> so you leave us alone. It, it, it's the whole. Right. You with us, man. I'm going to put that on up. First of all, you yeah, ain't doing it too, shit. shit. <laughs> Ty don't know what's going on. Ty really looked like an auntie that just, she is so surprised of what is going Ty, on. This right. is like Ty a college show. She just had a goddamn and, crimpet. That's exactly what she looked like. This is like a college <laughs> show, and the advisor is in here with us. This is spicy for Tuesday. It's real spicy for Tuesday. I like yeah. It. I like it. Though. Hey, Ty, this is how you be looking on Clubhouse when we just listening to you? Do you be looking I, just like this? I promise you, I look just like this, or except for my <laughs> mission. 
and I go and I do my my face regimen. So if you ever see me mod a couple people, I'll be like, hey, I'm about to go do my face regimen. I'll be back. And I usually dip off for like 30 minutes. I'm listening. I'm still there, but I'm just listening. Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm about to go to sleep, then about five people become a moderator at once. And then I'd be like, y'all hold it down. And when I wake up, it'd be a whole room full of different people. I'd be like, well, hey, y'all, hey. Who is you? I didn't. I didn't know Clubhouse was still open. I, I I quit when I went on there on Christmas Day, and niggas was just. I went on there over to the silent meditation room, and I, it was like three hundred niggas in that bitch listening to nothing. I said, "Okay, come on, y'all, just cut the phone <laughs> off and go to bed, bitch." Like, what are you doing? Hey, Ty. Cut the phone off. Hey, Ty. Why is that? Why? Why is that? Why is that flower on your durag? And can you sleep in that? <laughs> no. It <laughs> You talking about in the front, yo, uh, right there, the bug. That rose, that that big ass rose right there. What is that? What is that? Oh my god! First of all, what? Oh, this this is, is a head wrap. Okay, it's stylish. This is not what I sleep in. I did not feel like doing my hair today, nor did I feel like putting on any hair attachments or wigs. Right. So I went with the cute India Ari Erica Badu type. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay. I like it a lot. I was wondering, like, I got, I got a different scarf that I tie my hair down with, and I also that have one. a bonnet. So, but this is not my sleep. This is no, no. That's me. the one. That's the one. I'm being that's fast. the one. I like it a lot. I just be wondering because it, because it's so tight. It's, it's like no it's see it's not tight see it's how you uh you put it together so i um this isn't one of those pre-rolled uh head wraps i actually wrapped this myself because that's a that's a freak make 94 t-shirt on your head wrapped around. So this is so this is actually big look i have wrapped my hair with t-shirts i have done the t-shirts i know the t-shirts do that this is a wrap please do that at skating back yeah. in the this is actual fabric, so I, I bought the actual fabric and, you know, just tie it, and then I, you know, twist it up and wrap it around and make it look like a nice little... You did good, Ty. You did good. You did good. You, know, I'm you look like you're hosting a sip and paint. I look like I'm going to do a sip and paint with you on Zoom. <laughs> because Ladies, make make Ladies make this tree. Ladies make this tree. And then we take a sip. After yeah, the tree, we take a sip. All after over the tree. You can do as much as on little as you want to. It's your world, Queen. Yeah, oh, you yeah, your you world. Right, man. You look like you had a TV show. You can do right as much there. as little as you want to. Because I don't. Okay, to Teresa, that is a beautiful mountain. I get to wear summer clothes and I do it with it. That's all I'm saying. So I got my hair and I got on the sundress today, even though it's winter, and we we actually get ready to get another snowstorm. I think it comes tomorrow. But I felt like feeling like and looking like summer, so I put on a sundress and a hey, you know. Yeah. Hey, Is man. it still snowing up there? It's snowing where you at? Where you at, uh, Ty? Because I know it's in snowing in Houston, right? In Baltimore, but but we get ready to get another round of snow tomorrow, and it's supposed to be yep. pretty bad. So. So I'm supposed Same to go here. to Philly Friday, so it's probably not gonna happen, huh? I got a school yes, in Philly. I just had another help. school canceled. I had another school canceled last week. I was supposed to go to Del. I'm in uh Southeast Missouri. It's no you back, you back, you back doing those schools? It was like a couple schools that I had put in. I could die a little bit fee. That said, okay. come on, pull up. You got to put that. I could die a little bit fee on them colleges because they don't get much in life. Yeah, yeah, I need you know. You got to put that. Damn, they got to double up on them and see what's up. So, All right. I had like three or four in person, but it looked like them two canceled shit. So, yeah. I had to zoom. Now. I mean, I would say he see, wait and see because we've been getting told that the, the storm is going to be bad, but the last one wasn't that bad. But I can definitely tell it was going to snow because it was a little warmer today, and my ankle and my knee was hurting a little bit, child. You know. Yeah, I knew it. After you thirty six, that knee started tingling when they got there about the rain or snow. Yeah, that's how you know. That's how you know. But shit, I'm supposed to fly into Philly and drive to Delaware. But shit, I will be glad to sit my ass at the house. I don't know. In New York? Just play it by ear, though. I wouldn't say. They said pray for Texas. Everybody said pray for Texas. That's what they yeah, put I, 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 I just left. Back my mama said and everything. They got rolling blackouts. Like, they should be the yeah. power small. It go off yeah. like six hours and it come back on. Like, my homeboy yeah. didn't have power for like 25 hours, nigga. That's, a, that's 24 hours plus one hour. Um, like, you know what, what they got, like, two inches? First of all, watch your mouth, Alley. It's not about the inches. It's about we're not equipped for the snow. They're not okay. equipped. It's like it's like Atlanta. We oh. got half yeah, inches of snow. Drag your dog and meet me outside. <laughs> if I grab my dog and meet you outside, 
somebody ain't making it back in, and it ain't gonna be me and my dog. I it's gonna be Drake got nine inches, my dad said. <laughs> so what's got Texas got? Detroit. Well, it's just they're not equipped for snow, so they every other state of, is equipped for. Power is out. That's what I'm saying. It's like rolling power outages throughout the whole city. Like, Sandy, word, follow me whole. back on Instagram. I just followed you, my nigga. Like, 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 um, I'm joking. I'm joking. Hey, don't, don't, do it now, don't you can't follow her right now because then it's gonna be like she punked you and made you do it. You gotta follow yeah, her. Give me a minute. You ain't gonna punk hey. me just because big ass dog. Hold on. <laughs> in that snow, man. Y'all make sure y'all be safe, man. For real. Drive right. Cause uh, yeah. shit, I was on the beach today. I was I got, I got on a boat. And I was looking at some. Birds. Yo, fuck you, bro. <laughs> fuck you you. With your le- hey, your see, edges is late though. Seal? Did we see a seal? I don't think we saw a seal. <laughs> we saw a seal. I don't think I we saw a seal today. They, oh, she was asking you like how much. She, no, she was asking I'm, you I'm, how I'm much. I'm talking about the blade, but I was like, it, it's gonna get dark. <laughs> She was talking to you like that doctor dude, like that Dr. Samuel. So do you have a big day? How much snow y'all had? He was like, listen. <laughs> he had a flurry and another one. He really now averages. I talked to Ali. I talked to Ali Sadiq and uh, Marcus Wilder. They were stuck in Cleveland trying to fly right. to uh, Houston yesterday. I talked to them for a little bit yeah. in the, on, on live. So. That's crazy. Tyler was okay. stuck too. Tyler, was Tyler, stuck and Tyler and Darren was stuck in Jackson, Mississippi for a day and then they had to rent a car. But he said Darren is ice road trucking because that shit was ice all the way out. They don't have no snow plows. So it's like Jackson got they hit. Had to take a, yeah. Jackson, Mississippi. I got to be in Jackson in like four weeks. Man. Mississippi, I'm coming oh, down man. there. Somebody said, well, I'm performing at this weekend in Philly. Nowhere in Philly. I'm going to be in Delaware, University of Delaware on Friday. If, you know, God willing. You know, act of God is in the contract. Need my money. <laughs> so you flying into Philly and then you got to drive to Delaware? Yeah. I don't know if you ever had to have a rental car in the snow. It is not easy. It's like a best ab workout you'll ever have. <laughs> you yeah, so that, bro. Yeah, you already got your well, deposit. If you already yeah, got to the party, it's a college show. It's a college show. The contract is already oh, okay. done. Yeah. Yeah. If you can't, sometimes they go ahead and send uh, all-wheel drive, Rodney. You might need to switch it up, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna uh, see all-wheel drive. You should oh, ring yeah, Ali Dog with the snow at all. Yeah, Ali Dog gonna mush me through the snow. Mush. <laughs> I don't like the snow, honestly. I'm too. It's too cold for me. I like being like n- as naked as possible. Like I don't like having to put clothes on. Like. Word. That's why the dog keeps trying to. He know what you be doing. The dog is like, get off the phone, fam. Get to your oh, routine. I'm trying to talk to like you from New York, bro. Get off the phone, son. Yeah, that shit is the dub. It's over. Be fast. That video that you're doing that shit is over. Hey, tell all okay, y'all New York people. All y'all New York people need to stay out of Atlanta. Then. Y'all be like, yo. Back home on 133rd and 133rd, shit was wild. So it's it's, it's mad country down here. I'd be like, that shit's still open, bro. You can go back. <laughs> <laughs> that shit open the fuck, bro. I promise you, New York still open. You can t- if you don't like where I stay, fly away. That was good about it. Go back. Nah, Atlanta's just a little too spicy for me. It's fun as hell, and you will love it. No, I love Atlanta. My best friend lives in Atlanta. He's a lacrosse player. I go and visit him every year, and we have a great time. It's real spicy in Atlanta. It's impossible. impossible. So you you date big girls and white men? You bet you date big girls and white men. No, he's black. No, he's actually black. Shout out to Miles Jones. I've been with friends since high school. Does he have a British accent? No, he does not. He's black. He's from Long Island, so he says long the same way I say long. He says long. He says, he says, so he, he in Atlanta, he don't play lacrosse no more. That nigga is scamming. He, he's actually <laughs> he's a like, sock. He, y'all he's buddy, the really house got down. Y'all buy need a real estate or some shit, but I got all that shit on deck. Why do they scam so hard in Atlanta, Ronnie? Why they scam so hard in Atlanta? God is good, bro. The police, you know what I'm saying? They, they do all live out here. Scamming. But I think they scam everywhere, and I think Atlanta just open. So this is a lot of niggas with a bunch of Gucci shit that can't go outside, like in Long Island. I don't want to be the just, one to say. See, somebody said Atlanta zesty as hell. I, but I it's had, everywhere I is zesty as hell. Though. Like New York made up game. All these zesty. No, New York made up game. Strap on. She got a little strap on. A little bitty strap on. She got. Ali, Ali got a strap on. Go New ahead. York made gay. Acceptable. First of all, my strap on is not itty bitty. That's what it's not. That's number one. Number See, two, that was a trap. I, was I knew it was itty bitty. 
Yeah, you old unicorn dick having ass. Is that, that's what's wrong with y'all. See, you you get in the back of the line. You just became a nigga. 20 minutes ago, get in the back of the line. You you want the front of the line there? You just got all right, whatever. Go ahead. Wait, hey, when Allie heard, hey, when Allie heard, do you have a big dick? She tell me I got one or two in the which she's going, let me look. She got a wall on the bitches like Mike Lowry had. Oh, oh man, shit. boys, boy. like, yeah, this is the. Uh, this for me to be gay. Yeah, this is just this my little person. Hold on, hold on, what, hold on, Ty. What you say, Ty? <laughs> I just needed clarification. What is spicy? Because I use the word spicy. Thank you. It's what you mean. So Ty, let me explain. You mean flamboyant? Let me clarify. No, no, no. I don't mean spicy as in like a little tootie tootie. I mean as in like a nigga came up to me in the club was like, can I take you home? And I was like, oh, um, you know, like we're going like, to go hang out with you. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, so we're gonna hang out with the girls? Like, yeah, because you're gay. He was like, uh, uh, girl, I am not gay. He said that. That's what I mean. Yes, a dude tried to did take me Did you have home. on gray snow pants and did you have your dick on? What What were you doing? Because <laughs> yeah, listen, did you have your dick on? Did you have your dick on you? And you had your dick you're on your Atlanta mind? trying to not get holiday. At. Hey, look, that's what the niggas said. And you hey, gang on. You like, oh, these niggas are thirsty. Out hey, here. you remember, you remember on minutes when he said, "K, you got your strap." Nigga said, "For sure." And hey, Allie, you got your strap. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> sure. you, you know, know it. it. Okay, so what's tootie tootie? Because you said that. What's tootie tootie mean? That's tootie tootie. Okay. No, no. Tootie tootie is tootie tootie. tootie. No, oh, tootie. no. Let me explain tootie what tootie tootie, tootie, tootie is. Tootie Tootie is like this, this. This is another story. The other day, I, a couple weeks ago, I was at a club and this girl, she was small, a little spicy, a little Tootie Tootie. She she had all day minute. pussy in the club. She was smelling like first period PE in the ninth grade? <laughs> yes, and then I follow her on Instagram and I saw that the pants that she was wearing in the club, she had worn <laughs> in the gym. Why did you follow her on Instagram, <laughs> Cause you had hey, to him. Allie was trying to beat still. Hey, and she still was trying to beat. You, you, you. Allie was trying out. to beat. You know what I'm saying? Allie you was need to trying to beat. Move around too much. That's the problem. I was, I was networking. On Instagram. I was networking, and then I realized no, you were trying to fuck. You were Stop networking. lying, Allie. You were trying to you fuck. Staten Island. Yeah. It was three niggas in there. Allie was on demon time. Living in that spit in the ocean, and Allie is a shark. Allie was like, shit. She don't know what she fucking with. Put my shit on. <laughs> yo, yo, give me this. She got a golf bag with dicks in it and like the little golf club warmers on them on the top. Like, let me get that hey, nine iron. Hey, Ronnie, all, hey, Ronnie, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When she to hear when she when she smelled it, she unscrewed the soft one and put the hard one on. You know what? <laughs> See how you got these feelings? She's like, this bitch, you keep on playing with me. Keep playing. <laughs> Now you gonna not 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 see you gonna fuck around and get fucked. That's what's gonna happen. You gonna fuck around and get fucked. <laughs> she over like the equalizer, the dick, the dickalizer. Hey, have y'all seen Queen Latifah doing this running on this goddamn equalizer? Y'all have y'all been watching the Latifah yeah, Miser? Yeah. They need to do with her and the lady who's running them pumps who be running in all them heels. They need to have her do all her stunts. <laughs> Poor Queen. Queen be, hey. uh, be looking like she's running back to the car for her mask. Yo, if Queen Latifah come to that job with the wrong bra on, ain't nobody getting chased. Like, I got the wrong bra on my dick. I can't even. <laughs> I gotta go home. I gotta go oh, home before bro. I chase me. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, we <laughs> We close to a thousand cool likes. Let me get the thousand likes on real quick, man. Help me get to a thousand likes. We almost there. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. We, we get. We need a thousand likes. They said thousand hey. likes in this bitch, bro. Hey, you did you watch that? Queen Latifah do action uh, sequences to here? No, nah, I didn't. Even, I ain't even seen. What it come on? Hey, uh, it come on the channel on uh, ABC, I think, or NBC, one of them. It just looked like an auntie fighting crime. I'm like, oh, look at my aunt doing doing the Lord's work. <laughs> I got to I got to check it out. I definitely got to check it's, it out. It's dope to see a black lady do all that, but I just know the wrong bra, baby. Mm -mm. <laughs> the wrong what? The wrong bra. Wrong bra. Gee, ain't nobody getting chased, my nigga. Like, <laughs> big, them big tatas got to have that. She probably got two sports bras. Hey, Ronnie, you know Ronnie, Ronnie in other news, Queen Latifah broke her nose with one of her titties <laughs> running on the set of the new 
<laughs> she on. was slapped in the face with the whole titty, broke the nose and the jaw. Come on. We have further developments tonight at 11. Oh. <laughs> Your phone still ringing, player? Niggas is talking about the qu- they hit my cash yet. Appreciate y'all. Everybody talking about the Latifa Liza. <laughs> The All right, man. We almost up out of this joint right here, man. Yo, that went by so uh, we, got about, we got about five minutes before we uh start shutting it down, man. Um, get up out of this couple, thing, man. Uh, um, it was something I wanted to ask y'all about. I saw it on Instagram. Now I can't remember what the shit was, bro. Hold on, man. Let me see if I can find a little home, man. Somebody said yeah. she got that new portal. <laughs> hey, who you for? You say what? Uh, I played for University of New Hampshire for two years, and then I finished my career at Malloy College as a D in Long Island. That's dope. That's what's that's up. Good. You went back home, son. That's what's up. That's word. Word up. Word up. I did. It was cool. It was actually cool going back home and like playing in front of like a, like my fans, like my family and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. you. Fuck you, sis. <laughs> <laughs> Like yada yada yada. Yo, so uh, <laughs> Sim- Savage uh, Savage Fenty is worth one billion dollars now. One billion dollars. Damn, ain't never coming out. Damn, ain't never dropping. Ace that Rocky slitting there at the right time. You understand me? At the right time. He trying to fuck her so he can retire. <laughs> you don't want to stop rapping too. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop rapping this shit. I design. I like clothes, bitch. What's up? Oh, he dating Rihanna again. You know Rihanna allows you in her boudoir and it makes you leave. <laughs> I think Rihanna got a room like Ty Davis right now, and she sit on she sitting on Clubhouse under a ghost profile. <laughs> <laughs> Rihanna be in everybody room. Don't even nobody even know it. Listen, that profile picture that I use on Clubhouse, that's like my the last series of headshots that I had done, the professional ones. But I put up to get your ass out of here when I'm in Clubhouse over mode. Child, I be looking so tore up. I be sounding like I look good. I look like trash. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Head on the phone. But when did you, I'm do you have like a, a um, house now? Huh? how did you get fairy dust to place on your face? The gold fairy dust is nice. Um, it's actually a Rihanna Fenty Beauties line. It's a bronzer. Um, I've been yeah. using her skincare regimen twice a day, and my makeup products are also a combination of Rihanna's, uh, MAC, and Just Niche has eyeshadow palettes that I have fallen in I love like with. Um, Shout out to Just Niche. palettes are tailored to... To, to black women and to the melanin in our skin so you can really see the color but it's the it's the rihanna um it's called the um diamond glow <laughs> that's welcome. how my face look when i eat chick-fil-a <laughs> by itself soon as i soon as i get poly sauce and it my shit just glow like that i can't pull the phone out because it's a moment i can't do that so oh and i forgot i got on um I got on Super Scent, uh, uh, Super Scent Blush. So I've been trying to support a lot of black businesses lately. Shout out to that. Thank and you. That's Ronnie, dope. I got my Blessed Fuck notebook, but I'm going to need like 50 more of those. So I'm going to be placing a, a bulk order because I need some gotcha. more of those. I appreciate you. Thank you. She can place me out. I bulk order. She's telling them bitches like they heard, though, Ronnie. That's what I do know for sure. She 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 just told us how she put everybody makeup in one jar and shook it up and now it's her shit. I got, some <laughs> this bitch. I got some Rihanna in that motherfucker and a little yeah, bit of goddamn hot sauce. This is why you you can't you can't. This is why we can't rise as people. I was trying to support you. Now it's like I have this thing because I'm writing. You know I'm writing my book. And I plan to have my first book published uh, this year, but I've been using you. your book, your notebook, as my 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 note taking book for all of the stuff that I'm using for my book. But I love those kind of notebooks. They they the right. Let me know. I'll just give you. I, I'll do it. Just tell me, and I'll just uh, order it for you on the bulk price. I'll give you a cheaper, way cheaper price. I got you. Appreciate it. Hey, but that book is let's, uh, let's let's go ahead and come this year. It's real quick. Said, what's Sydney? That book better come out this year. If he give you oh, that deal, that book better motherfucker come out. <laughs> right, drop the book. 
It's coming out. When that book comes out, that book is going to be not only a number one New York Times bestseller, it's also going to be turned into a film, and it's also going to be turned into a television show written, produced, and directed by your girl. You're welcome. Okay. I'm not giving that Come away. On, Let's get into it. We're going to agree with you. We agree. We agree with you. What, two or three? Touch and agree now. Amen. All right, let's yes, go ahead before. and get ready for these uh these wrap offs, man. Let's uh let's go Ali, let's go uh Sid, let's go CP, Ty, then Ronnie. Word. Wait, what are we doing? We're getting ready to Shout sign up. Tell people where they can find you. Oh, I want to no. thank you for taking your cash out. You can do that. And if you got anything, you guys, up, you if you want, if you, you got guys anything, can up, follow me. God damn it, you talk over me one more time here, and I'm gonna oh. mute it. I'm gonna mute it. Now you saw me start, and you you gonna start every time you see me start. You know I don't play that shit. <laughs> Goddamn job. <laughs> now go ahead, shit. I love you. What happened? See, what happened? now you playing the laugh and the shit. Ty, go ahead. Now, now if we get time to come back around, now we're we're going back around. Go ahead, Ty. It's, your, it's on you. Okay. You know I got nine hoodies over here. It's going to take a minute. Um, so I would like to thank everybody for their support. Of course, to hear, thank you so much for always providing me with an opportunity to come and do my thug fizzles. Um, always a great time seeing Ronnie and Allie and Sydney and CP. Um, shout out to everybody that hit my cash app. Xavier, Josh, Samina, Desmond, Young Deuces, of course. Ooh, I got an announcement. Kaylin taking the stage. Kristen. Kyle, Matt, Major, Cassandra, Colby, Andrea, Sheena, Ernestine, Nick, and Shamika. And if I pronounce anybody's name incorrectly, charge it to my head and not my heart. Thank you so much for all of the. Whoa, that was an extremely generous donation. Um, Desmond, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Um, please make sure y'all follow me on all my social media at Comedian Todd Davis on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, also on Clubhouse is Ty Davis. Uh, I'm on the TikTok. I'll be making the TikTok videos. I'll be ticking and tying. Which is funny, um, funny. And make sure y'all hit the link in my bio. The Yam Fam Yamily merch is still available for purchase, but we also have the Clubhouse Oprah Get Your Ass Out of Here merchandise <laughs> is available. Please purchase it. Uh, I am trying. Hey, send me the link where I can support. Make some things happen. So, yes. uh, oh. again, that's the clubhouse. Uh, shout out to Young Deuces. Design that logo. I don't know if y'all can see it. Get your ass out of here. Um, right. And, of course, after Zooming with the homies tonight, I've been getting some DMs. People have been messaging me that they missed me on the clubhouse. I turned in my paper. So the Insomniac Lounge in the Blue Room is going up tonight. So if you're on clubhouse, Amen. meet me over there about 1230, and we're going to do the damn thing. I'm gonna be over there breathing hard as hell. That's why I'm going breathing hard. Now, now, hold on, now, hold on. You ready to try again and get your shit together? Yeah. Uh -oh. you All right, go ahead now. Okay, um, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Ali Leffridge. Same thing for my Cash App. Same thing for my Facebook. Um, I have a show coming up on Thursday in Long Island that nobody's gonna go to. That I'm thinking about because it's probably gonna snow like a motherfucker. But anyways. Um, thank you to all the people who sent me some money on Cash App, Xavier, Josh, Young Deuces, Mark Gregory. Shout out to y'all. Um, also, if you guys have a chance, go over to my auntie's um, profile at Cass Ashford Chef. She's in this contest to win $20,000. She's a black woman chef and she has her own spice line everything buy from her she's amazing um yeah you guys can follow me on instagram i have more content coming out and yeah thanks all right that's a great job Alan. That's a real good job right there real good job you're welcome all right hey don't get fresh because she up there up north in New York and she hot in the ass. She thinks she talks to grown up every time to wait. Hey, she she like, your, you got your language set on butterscotch. Because <laughs> she don't know how to act, running in and out of this goddamn stream, messing around and, and, and sucking the job with that goddamn dog all night. Sydney, I'm sorry, Sydney. 
I appreciate it. Fast yeah, so tail girl. I just want to say I appreciate the opportunity, man. I think you're really good. This lineup specifically tonight, I actually love everybody on this lineup except Allie because I just met her. But I really uh, expect everybody to, you know, continue to be great. Uh, Allie, oh. we fucking lack. You can uh, follow me. I have a podcast on Sundays at 1 o'clock called Just Friends. I do it every one. Uh, Ronnie, you threw me the fuck off uh, with Zaynab Johnson. And uh, okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, I love y'all, man. Uh, God bless y'all. You know what I mean. And uh, that's it. There it is. I appreciate it. Anybody hit your cash app? You want to thank them? Oh man, yeah, yeah. Real quick, I appreciate y'all on the cash app, man. As always, uh, uh, Ash, Tamir, I appreciate you. Kobe, what's up? Uh, Tierra, David, Tierra, David. Alright, talk your shit. Thank you. Okay, come through, Tierra, David. Uh, Kobe, Holden, Leticia, Cassandra. Uh, yeah. Okay, Tier, Tier, I'm not fucking. You gave me enough money where you think I'm going to expect. I'm not fucking Tier, but I appreciate the money, okay? Because that was a large amount. And I know that usually means something. I'm going to let you know. I'm just going to say thank you. Okay, but uh, and I appreciate everybody, man. Shout out to your dog, Uh, you know, your dog way cute in the alleys, and I'm out. Wow, like, fuck me, right? Okay. With a strap on. Go ahead, Ty. Your dog <laughs> You want me to go again? Oh, you are right. Go ahead, Ronnie. It was on CP. Oh, well, go ahead, CP. Shit, somebody. Hey, man, I want to thank everybody, man, for supporting and continuing to support this. To hear, I hate StreamYard. I miss Zoom. I don't know if you beefed out with them niggas or not, but y'all need to patch this shit up because it's called Zoom with the homies, not fucking StreamYard with the homies. Anyway, um, I have a show. On March 5th, it's with uh, a company called Rush Tits. They do a lot of, like, big-name white comedians. So they fucking with me. I don't know why, but let's not embarrass me in front of them. Let's get the okay. tickets. So you guys can watch it at home, okay? But it's like, y'all, they might not give me another shot at this kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need these tickets. But they're like, oh, you're so funny. We love your online material. We love your online material. They're not going to love it no more if y'all don't buy the tickets. I know we, we zoom in for free, but I got some shit I want to say to y'all. But it uh, will cost you the Shut up, Max. So that's going to be March 5th. The, 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 the link is in my bio. All right. We not at the begging stage yet. The show is 17 days away. I got my five more days. I'm going to start begging motherfuckers. I'm telling y'all right now. My show is March 5th. White folks fucking with me. They might not continue if we don't buy the tickets. If you go come, buy the tickets anyway, okay? I'm going to say that. I also got some gear. I got a new joke called Africo. Did Africo gear. It's for Africans and Mexicans. It's dope. It's an idea. You know what I'm saying? I got some merch for that. Merch costs a lot of money. Got the designs made. People not really fucking with it. People, a lot of people going to the site, liking it. Wear it. Also, um, that's a suggestion. I don't want to force y'all to wear my shit, but if you, fuck me with, if you fuck with me, fuck with that. I got new sketches on YouTube, all right? Numbers kind of low. I just want I just want y'all to turn out, turn up. All right. Uh also, um Cash App, Tierra David. If you trying to marry me, yes. Um, Shamika Snow, uh, appreciate you. Uh Colby Holman, Cassandra Brady, Joy Pickens, Christina Max, Christina Mays, Christine Mays, Paisley Thomas, Josh Inglis taking the stage, uh, Rolanda Carr, Xavier Broadnax, Young Deuces. I gotta take this dog out. Uh, Jaquista Powell, we might be cousins. I don't know. Um, young deuces, and that's it. I want to say appreciate everybody. All right, the link is in my bio for the show. Don't make me come back on here without how many people in here. I need 900 sales, that ain't a lot to ask for. 900 measly ass little tickets, anyway. I'm gonna take my dog out. I love everybody, man. Uh, even Ali, because I know Ali. So, you know what I'm saying? We didn't met. I know about that pinky toe. I know how hard it is to grow up without all your body parts. I don't know personally, but I know a lot of preemies. You know, and you probably got your big ass incubator at home. Your husband don't understand it. You know, what the fuck is this shit? Or, or, or whatever bitch you fucking. But the bottom line is listen, you are somebody. All right. And you know what I'm saying? That's it. You know, put a condom on that dog. I'm gonna holler at y'all. All right, boy. I just want to say appreciate y'all. Um, y'all go to officialblessedaf.com. I want to thank the more mob for support. Y'all the ones who made me get my whole Shopify together. And this is a new piece I've been because all my stuff coming up to 5X. So I got the new pink flower blessed AF crew neck. Y'all can shop with that. And I got a 
I always make shit to hear to piss off white people in the airport just to see who racist. So this is my latest. This is my Black History Month installment. It's called uh, Human as Fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> just because we all human, goddamn it. You know what I mean? That's just if you fuck up a lot, just wear this around them. You know your girl. If you fuck up, you're human. You know what I mean? So this ain't out yet, but that's coming. And also, I have uh, one more thing. Tyler Chronicles, his hoodie line is going crazy. Y'all saw him on Zoom with the homies. We got a company we're working with called Merch, the number four and higher, H-I-G-H-E-R. And he has a hoodie. If you black, every hoodie you got on is a black hoodie. So this this is Tyler Chronicles' new hoodie. So he got it on here twice because my body big as hell. So, uh, yeah. And I just, yeah, this, this nigga said, yo, I put it on here twice. I said, well, thank you, man, for making me feel fatter than normal people. But, uh, yeah. And uh, y'all follow my podcast at More Than Culture on YouTube. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. We about 400. It's M O R E T H A N C U L T R. And go to my YouTube at Ronnie Jordan. I'm I'm just trying to get more followers on there. And uh, let me just shout out all the Cash App people Xavier Broadnax, uh, Josh English, Brittany. Um, Young Deuces, uh, Jaquesta Powell, uh, taking to, taking the stage, Christine Mays, CJ, shout out Cassandra uh, Bandy, uh, damn, uh, I'm sorry, Cassandra Batty, Joy Pickens, Colby, Hol- uh, Colby Holman, uh, Ernestine, uh, Shamika, Justin, appreciate all y'all for the cash apps. Them babies gonna eat lunch for this one tomorrow. Thank you to hear. Appreciate the more mob. Y'all have, y'all have uh, sparked my whole little internet, you know, buzz up. I've been I've been doing comedy 19 years and this shit is a marathon. I, I swear to God, I appreciate all y'all new motherfuckers that just find out about me. Go look at the old shit. Like, a lot of niggas, you know, I've been out a while and I appreciate all the comedians that's kind of I be in them conversations. <laughs> niggas like, you know who funny? So, I appreciate y'all. And I don't know who oh, shit is I'm here in somebody else's house, but thank y'all. Yeah. Almost, that's it. <laughs> Uh, Ali's dog is over there choking the cat. I don't know what the it's fuck not, going on over First there. off, it's not even me. It was Sydney's. Is, is, is Ali doing because her taxes? His head was like, your squeaky it's, ass head was rubbing up against your ceiling. Your big ass. God damn it! It sounds like on the it sounds like on the Drake song when when the song go through the underwater. <laughs> anyway, uh, listen, man. Thank y'all for watching another episode of Zoom with the Homies, man. Uh, we got two more shows uh, this week, uh, Thursday. Y'all know it's going to be the show before the show. So all the people that will be on Keep Your Distance Comedy Show will be on Thursday night. Uh, it's got a great lineup, so you can go to Kev's page and check that out. Uh, tomorrow's going to be another fantastic show. We dropped a new episode of More to the Story today. New episode of Word in the Heart with Ronnie Jordan drops tomorrow. And then a new episode of Damn It and That You Scary drops on Thursday. I want to shout out a shout out, big shout out to Tara David. I appreciate it. Ernestine, Kobe Holman. Cassandra, Kristen May taking the stage. Young Deuces, of course. Jaquista in the building. Ryan Kills, uh, Josh Inglis, and Xavier. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the love. Listen, guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in. May y'all be safe out there. I'll see y'all tomorrow on another episode of Zoom with the homies. Y'all be good. Peace appreciate out. Appreciate you to hear. This is dope. Always my platform. Dope ass platform.